One of Minecraft's many notable features is its infinite worlds. So I decided to see Minecraft from a different perspective. In this video, I survive 100 days of hardcore Minecraft in a one by one expanding border. My goal for this 100 days is to go from a dirt hole to creating a cherry blossom civilization. 100 days is a long time and a lot of interesting things happen throughout this video. So you'll just have to see how I managed to survive in such a limited space. And if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. We are so close to 10,000 subs and I would appreciate it so much. But without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy this 100 days of hardcore Minecraft in an expanding border. All right, and here we are. We got a pretty fantastic seed too. What the heck? We got wood pretty close. There's a tree down here. There's a tree over here. There's even some rabbits. What? Some farmland, but I'm sure if you've seen a video like this before, the first couple days are a little slow. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna mine a couple blocks for a second, and that's literally it. Because we don't have a tree on day one, then there's literally nothing we can do. And that's unfortunate, but tomorrow we get some fences. Let's go but yeah that was literally it for for day one i might actually drop down right here maybe get a seed no just get as much dirt as possible do as much as we can on day number one and that's that's it that's all we can do until tomorrow so i guess we'll sit in this hole until it rolls over to day number two and then i'll explain a little more about this challenge a new day started order has expanded so it should be out just one block and does that give us any room to do anything else no but we have this nice mason in our little box i guess you're stuck with us for now there's also a nitwit up there which we don't like him i guess we can get some fences i don't, I don't really know what i need those for but it's something new that we can grab but yeah that's quite literally all we can we can do for day number two we could get some more dirt but i don't know if it's necessarily worth it i'll go and go up here and see what's up there's two nitwits can we get a seed yes we can we got a single seed but we don't have wood so we can't really do anything with that i guess i might as well break all the grass or the, all the dirt right here just because i mean it wouldn't hurt to just have we want to clear out as much land as we can just because when we can build stuff we won't have that much room to do so so and these guys can die it doesn't matter i don't really care well i guess this time i'll explain what i want to do for this challenge so obviously we're in this little box right now but every single day it's going to expand by one more block and our goal for this hundred days is just to get as far as possible obviously we want to be able to trade a lot with these guys as geared out as we can possibly be there's really no specific end goal we're just going to see how much we can do in the hundred days and i will say it is kind of i guess annoying to, to not be able to go out and do other things but i guess that's just part of the challenge we'll have a bell i don't know how useful that'll be Ooh, we won't be able to reach that tree tomorrow but Two days from now, that tree will be ours. So we can start farming some wood and actually start doing stuff. Because that's the biggest thing. Right now, we can't really do anything at night just because we don't have any wood. We can't actually build. We can't actually craft any pickaxes or axes. So we don't have any wood. We can't exactly craft any tools. So yeah, that tree will be our saving grace. And then soon we'll get the cherry tree as well, which will be a nice mix up of colors. I enjoy, I enjoy the cherry wood. So I guess we'll go back down and just wait for the next day to start. And I'm still waiting for the border to expand is it close no it's the middle of night i will be going back in my cave all right i just will keep waiting i'll keep waiting well it says the border has expanded once again and it has what can we go get today we can't get the tree oh no we didn't get any more seeds not that i would really help us whatsoever we can get all oh, we can get more we can get more fences we can get more fences how exciting is that i'm assuming a bell needs a pickaxe yeah i'm not messing with it <gasps> can i get a sapling from this these trees though i got sticks oh, i got sticks hello no no sapling okay i can get a torch though that's cool guess i'll have to wait till tomorrow to get this beautiful tree to get the beautiful tree and then i can go ahead and head up here see what other stuff i can get up here i'm not close to the tree yet i can't even get that wood so so all the wood is going to have to happen tomorrow. Oh, 
I did not mean to do that. Iron Golem, please do not come and kill me. That would actually be terrible. But like I said, I'm going to farm all the blocks that I physically can, even if it's just dirt. I got nothing else to do. The good thing is, is when I do get some wood, I do have two seeds, so I'll almost be able to get a full piece of bread, which is one of the biggest things is getting food, having enough food. In the end, it's, it's not really that big of a deal, but starting off it is, especially, but it might not be that big because we have hay bales not too, not too far away, and we have a whole plot of food, and that's all growing while this is expanding because obviously we can't go and grab it, but when it fully expands, we can get some of that, which would be pretty nice. Ooh, I just hope I don't get hungry. Like, I know, I know it won't be till like day nine. I haven't eaten anything. I could starve to death, but I'd rather preserve as much hunger as I can until that day happens. Okay. Don't come after me. Wait. Can you come here? I can get some iron. I could I couldn't do anything with it again, but I could actually get some iron though. I'll just have to punch the iron golem to death. That is all the blocks that I can grab right now. That would have been really cool if that iron golem came over here because I would have been able to get some iron and maybe a flower, which that's not going to help me, but iron would have helped tomorrow because I can't really craft anything with it. So on that note, I guess I'll be doing the same thing we did the last couple of days and I'm hungry, which is not good, but tomorrow we'll finally be able to get some wood, make a hoe, plant some of these seeds, hopefully get some more, more seeds from some of this grass that's out here and then we'll be gaming so yeah all right but goodbye i'll be going back down all right and it's on day number four the world border should have expanded it has and guess what we can get a tree we can get wood and an iron golems in here too that's a w Ooh, i'm so excited and we have a librarian in here i don't know how <laughs> i don't know how good that is but but the moment of truth what do we do with the wood i know what we do with the wood but let's see how much wood we get i know we get like i know we get six logs but oh seven there's one in here wow nice the other thing too is this is a very interesting inventory for playing an hour of minecraft i don't think you see this anywhere else and that sapling is glitching out but we can grab it let's go huge well, let's go ahead and craft our crafting table nice place that down and first things first i'm actually going to make a hoe so i can go ahead and start farming these seeds so they're going to be very important as well as i'll place my fences around that so none of the villagers stomp on them and then an obvious second will be the pickaxe do i actually craft some sticks first or do i wait i think i wait a second see if i get more sticks from the from the tree just trying to save up on all the resources that was all i could break but we got our sapling and let me go up up top up here and see what else we can grab quite literally nothing there's quite literally nothing else up here for us i mean except there is another piece of wood some more torches so we don't have to worry about that there is also this iron golem that i'm thinking i'm thinking we go ahead and take out we will go and place a block right there and Boom. Can you come closer, please? Oh, no, you're good. All right. And we're going to get our first bits of iron, too. I'm sure we'll get some later tonight when we'll go mining, but this will do. I wonder how long this is going to take with my hand. Boom. There we go. We'll gladly take the five iron. That's the most iron you can give me. That's huge. That's fantastic. So I did some thinking, and the first other thing we should bake is or first we should check for sticks but i don't think we got any unlucky but the first thing we should make is a pickaxe obviously go ahead and grab this and then we can go up and get some of this stone so we can make a stone pickaxe won't be throwing away this regular pickaxe just because we might end up just we're, we're gonna be down mining anyway so we might as well just use it and we can go ahead and make a stone pickaxe which is huge wait I, I probably could have made an iron pickaxe, but I think I'll make a bucket instead because when we get access to water, that'll be pretty big. I guess I'll clean up our little area real quick. Not really too worried about how it looks, but for now, we will be spicing it up later. But I think I'm going to get enough for a furnace. I'm not going to do... I might do an axe, actually. I haven't decided yet. Just in case there are monsters down in the cave. And hopefully there's some water down in the cave as well. That'd be pretty nice. That is definitely enough cobblestone for now. We won't need any more. I'm, I might as well just break this too. And we have a bell. Which isn't useful at all. Okay, well, that's basically all we can do. I'm going to go ahead and plant. Oh, we can get some... <gasps> Wait, we can get a cherry sapling, and I guess we will not be getting it. That's so sad, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and plant, plant a sapling up here. Boom, and give it some light so it can start growing up. There we go. I think a big issue I'm seeing is the lack of animals that are around here. I think the majority would be over that way. On that note, I'm actually going to make a composter. I mean, someone can take this profession if they want, but that's not really why. we put all these pink petals in here. Get a bone meal, hopefully. No. Alright. 
That's okay. We've made quite a bit of progress today. And he is a farmer though. And potatoes, we need to get that farming plot up there pretty soon. That'd be pretty nice. Um, I'll go ahead and make a chest. Because I know we're going to get more wood pretty soon. But cave over here. I'm going to plug up all this. Boom, boom. All right, and then the cave will, the staircase will start right here. As the border expands, we will just continue to expand that. Put everything we can into there. Of course, light the area up. We don't want any mobs spawning over here. But yeah, as you can see, we need some food pretty fast. Yeah, hopefully that tree grows up. Another villager up there. Wow. But in the meantime, I will be going down in the caves and seeing if we can get any iron, coal, just anything that we don't have. I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure you could have guessed that this will be the majority of what we do for the first couple of days. We just needed wood. So now we can actually go down and do... I thought that was... I, why did I think that was diamonds? Diamonds can't even spawn up here. And I'm an idiot. I got a little too excited. And there's our first bits of coal. That's pretty nice. Not that we have food or anything to use it with. But once we do, that'll be great. I think obviously... I think obviously our big source of food starting out with is going to be crops. We're not going to be getting too many animals. I'd much rather have animals because they, they're just better. In the game, meat is better than plants. I mean, in real life, I think meat's just better than plants, but in context of Minecraft, I hope you know what I'm saying. But we'll just keep mining down until we run into something. There's some copper, but who really cares about copper? Copper's for losers. And that's our broken pickaxe right here. There we go. And then we could go back up and see what we got. We didn't obviously get any materials. We got a couple pieces of coal, but that's really it. Hopefully there's nothing spawned up here. But yeah, all these guys are still chilled out. Nothing spawning. Pretty soon though, phantoms are going to start spawning and that's that's a no-no. I don't like phantoms. So we'll just make more pickaxes and just keep mining throughout the night. See if we can find anything cool. I feel like the annoying part of this is going to be walking down this all the time. You kind of can't make a straight line or a straight staircase just because the world border. And it's kind of the point of this challenge. We see mobs that I think we're automatically out. We're gonna go up and strip mine somewhere else. I'm just not trying to die. I'm not trying to die. I'm amazed I haven't found any iron yet. Mm. Well, I guess we'll be having to get some copper. There should be some sort of light you can do with copper. And that is a cave. How big of a cave is that? I don't know, but it's to deep slate. Um, okay, that's cool. I guess we'll try to work our way around it, but if we end up mining straight into it, then we're out. And as I said, we just mine straight into it. We can make a little staircase, though, but there are going to be a whole bunch of monsters and cave noises. That's not cool. I don't like that. But we are finally at deep slate. But yeah, there is a cave in here. Can I hit this guy? I can. Yep. I'll just go ahead and kill you, pal. If you drop any rotten flesh, I'll gladly, I'll gladly eat it. I did. Boom. That was pretty dumb. Could have been skeletons, but there wasn't, so we're good. We're all good. There's a creeper, though. Not mess with you, buddy. Hello. And now he's dead. So there we go. There's nothing else, right? There is nothing worth of value right now. That's unfortunate, but I guess we could keep going down. Nothing's really stopping us. I will make a um, safety net right here, just so nothing gets up. But the world border did expand while we were down here. That's nice. That's pretty cool. Did I expose anything over here? Oh, there's some iron now. Ooh, is that worth going up? I think it is. We'll be good. We'll be good. And it's more than one huge two pieces. It's not that much right now, but in terms of the circumstance that we're in, it's quite a bit. And we got a piece of flint, so we can make flint and steel. If we find a lava lake somewhere, we can end up going to the nether already, which I'm obviously not going to do, but I guess let's go back up and see what we got. Hopefully we unlock some more things. We might be able to get that cherry tree up top now. And if so, that'd be pretty sick. I think you should be able to cook rotten flesh just to make meat, right? Like it's just called meat. Or would that be weird? We can get more of this coal too. Let's go ahead and do that. And that's all she wrote. There we go. And we're going back up. Nice. They're all still here. That wood is gettable. That's nice. Okay. More wood. More chances for some seeds. And we got one already. There we go. Let me go ahead and make a furnace and start putting all the stuff in the, in the furnace. Start cooking that stuff. I don't know how many times I can say stuff in a sentence, but I just said it a lot. Another seed. Let's go. I got some more of these flowers too. Throw those in the compost. What are you doing in there, pal? Okay, I it literally went nowhere. It quite literally went nowhere. That's crazy. I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and make an axe. No, no, get out. No, no, get out. Thank you. That place is for our seeds. Thank you. Well, let's melt those because why not? Now we got four iron ingots. Go ahead and go chop the, the tree down up there. We are ever so slightly closer to the village. Look at all that wheat that's just sitting there too. And there's a sheep. We need some we need some animals up in here. I think it's two more days till we can get some hay bales right here. Oh, and our tree just grew. Time to chop some wood. 
got an apple. What? That's huge. I mean, too bad it's it's gone. Um, and we did get a sapling. That's, that's pretty big too. I think instead of mining right now, I'm gonna go clear out the rest of this. We already got our sapling, but I wouldn't mind completely just tearing out this whole entire side area, moving it all down. Hmm, I guess I'll go ahead and go make some, some tools. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We did get a cherry sapling, so we will gladly plant that in a second. Also, another wheat seed. How did you get in there? What are you doing in there, pal? You can get out, please. Um, I guess he's not. That's it's whatever. It's whatever. Oh, there we go. Thank you, sir. I'm actually going to just make this all right there. I'll give you your profession back at some point. But I don't need it anymore. So I could either destroy up there or build up there. What I mean by that is this could be like an underground little whatever throughout this little valley. And I'll just start putting dirt all along, the, along the top of it. And a terraform it and have a little base up there. Because we'll have different layers to this place, obviously. So yeah, I think that would probably look a lot better. Um, Just let me bring a couple of stacks of dirt. So we get up there and do that very thing. Also, I will bring the saplings. No, not the sapling. I can't. There's two of them. I got, I got, oh, I got four. Anyways, so yeah, I think we're good. We're chilling. Yeah, we'll probably build on this plane right here. Just extend this out. Right, there we go. Nice little plot of land up here. Hopefully it looks good. If it doesn't, then whatever it does, then... Okay, fantastic. But I do need to put some light up here as well. And I'll go ahead and the other trees on the other end. Boom, boom. Boom. Give them some light as well. Right there. And yeah. And I'll just make the little thing down here. Along the border. Of course, it's in the farm. That's not good. Not good. I'll build it around. That is not building it around. Um... There we go. That works. There's no worry of any of these villagers getting killed by any zombies or anything like that. Because they have no reason to spawn. Why did it do that? Why? I gotta reset on those. How dare you? Well, hopefully they don't get a brain and start doing outlandish things. Wait, that sounds weird. Um, what was I trying to say? Instead of mining tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and transform this up here. Shape it out a little bit. Well, that looks a lot cleaner and nicer. Obviously, we're gonna fill in that and fill in the rest of it, but for now, it looks pretty good. And I think since all the villages are already down here, this will be part of the villager breeder slash villager hall, just because it'll be a lot easier just to do it that way. So let me get this little corner right here, as well as all the things these people are standing on. Here we go. I don't think they're going to be stomping these out, so let's go and remove the fence. I think I might also change the ground all the way down here to cobblestone. Oh, and there's more coal. There's more coal. Yay. All the stuff that we have to smelt. Yippee. I definitely don't need to do this, but I think it looks a little better. The world border has expanded. I don't know what's new, but we'll figure it out. I don't know if that really looks better, but it's not like we can't change it later on. I guess let's see what has changed if I could get through here, sir. Thank you. What is exposed? What is not? A tree grew and there's another guy up here. Wow. We cannot get hay bales yet, but we are very close. We can expand more of this and expand more on this side as well. A couple of blocks. Nothing really changed up here besides getting a couple more pieces of cherry wood. But that's literally it. So yeah, I mean, any progress is good progress. We're ever so closer to getting farm. What? Getting crops. Farm? What am I talking about? We're so much closer to having food is what I mean. And I see carrots at least. I see beets obviously and I do see potatoes. So once the whole thing is covered, we will, we will be balling in the food. It's good to see that our trees are growing as well. We only got one sapling from that, but that's okay. We can plant that bad boy right there. I really want these guys gone too. I'm actually gonna kill them. They're dead. Smoke them. Gone. I don't need them. It's nothing personal. Except it is. Bye bye. Goodbye. We'll go ahead and fix this part right here. I think we might have a reset on food again too. Yep. Yep. Sadly, that's what happens. But you live and you learn. Let's go ahead and make another hoe. Boom. I guess that's what I get. It doesn't seem like that much, but when you start doing it, you're like, ooh, and boom. There we go. I think I'll leave that right there just because I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy, mate. Yeah, that's all we can do for today. So what do you say we um, put everything in the chest and head to the mine? See what we can get now because it expanded quite a bit from the last time we were down there. So I'll we'll place this up really quick and then I'll be heading down to the mines. And I'm officially on life support. All right. All right. Ready to go down. So I think the clear issue you is um food all right oh uh oh uh oh and that's not good um wow 
Okay. Well, I have no words. I am near death. We might have to take a, a break until we actually get some food. Might miss tonight, and then when we get those hay bales, we go back down. Which kind of sucks, but seems like a very viable option right now. We do have some bones, though. We can grow some, some wheat really quick. See if we can get lucky and get another one. Nope. I guess we're stuck here until the day comes. So I'm really not trying to die. Let me get some of this dirt. I'm gonna plant some more of these real quick. I'm really glad I made an axe. Without the axe, I'm not killing him that fast. I'm gonna box up and reassess the situation really quick. Right, I am back with food in real life because I got a little hungry. But I'm pretty sure it did say the border has expanded once more. So that means more food. All right, time is up. Let's see what the new day brings. We have another bell. Doesn't mean anything. This little cave that leads to nowhere classic minecraft some of our trees grew and this is what we wanted this is why we came back we have food we have lots of food that's not good why are you here why are you here what happened how'd you get here i can't even block that up huh where are these things coming from surely it had to come from my cave right right here actually might just remake that i don't know how i feel about all that oh but first I need to make our food. I'm gonna use quite literally every single piece. We need as much food as possible. 27 pieces of bread. We finally get to regain health. That's, ooh, that's great. It feels good. Tomorrow we get even more, which is fantastic. I'm also gonna go, as I get full health, well, you know, had to flex. I keep forgetting to grab some cobblestone. Oh, we only got a couple more days till we get some crops. That's huge. But I guess I'll just keep expanding this right here. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, no. Why'd you have to go and do that? Here you go. You'll be stuck there forever. I decided to do something with you. We can finally mess with this house. I mean, I don't need to. And I don't think there's a chest back here. Let me let me just go and check. Yeah, there's, there's a bed. There's a bed. Yay, we got a bed. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. I'm not going to move my stuff up here yet. Just because we don't have enough room to actually build a base, I will continue to live underground. Whatever you want to call this. But I will place my bed. I would change the color, but I want it to be blue. We don't have blue yet. But yeah, I'll just, I'll leave him there for now. He doesn't deserve to come down. He deserves to stay up there forever. Also would like the other two to come down here, or at least one of them, so I don't lose them forever. That'd be pretty cool. Um, Because I'm really not trying to have to get a zombie villager, because that would be unfortunate. I mean, at least they're still here. I don't think they'll die. He probably wants to go to his bed. I'm not going to let him. He's not going anywhere. Let me farm the trees. I will say farming cherry trees is not fun. I honestly hate it. They're too big. They take too long. I mean, it depends on which one you get. You get one of the ones where you have to place a block down because you're not tall enough. Those are very annoying. The good thing about these, though, is you get a bunch of sticks. So I won't be having to craft any more sticks. And I can completely finish this other tree to get all the other sticks. Nice. Pretty exciting. I'm going to go ahead and munch on some macaroni while I wait for these tree leaves to break. Mmm. That was a good mac and cheese and there are a bunch of saplings. Oh my goodness. I'm glad that I did get some more of these because they haven't been dropping as much. I only got two from that and I normally get a lot more. But I guess I'll chop this one down really quick and then move on to whatever's next. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to go to sleep in my new bed. I'm going to celebrate with my new bed. That's fitting for today. All right, and we get to sleep for the first time. Let's go. And the border has been expanded once more. I put a torch right there. Hopefully nothing comes out of that. Um, what do I do now? I guess I'll I guess I'll go look for what's new. Do the daily stroll. Collect all this stuff up here. There's more hay bales. Nice. One of the bigger things I was excited for. I mean, it's only two, but that's still, what, six pieces of bread, which is pretty fantastic. Let me go get some more dirt so I can fill out the top of this area. But boom, boom. And I got 28 pieces of bread, which is huge. And we got a blue flower. I'm going to make myself a blue bed. Now you fell down there. I guess you're going to stay down there too. You do this to yourself, buddy. Have fun. Sorry about you. And we can go in the house now, but there's literally no point. So yeah, well, we can open and close the door too. Got so many more seed opportunities too. I think tomorrow, though we can reach those couple plots that means we can get some water too let's go we won't be able to make an infinite source yet but that will be soon it'll be so soon and i think i'm gonna re remake my my staircase it's gonna go over here but it's gonna go around the whole circle it's not gonna, it's gonna be a little thing because this is not gonna be very fun to navigate whatsoever it's gonna place all the stuff back in here we'll be plopping this down though covering that up and making my bed blue because we like blue beds all right i think i'm going to dig out some of this i think the starting blocks will be probably right here. It's just going to go down that way. Down that way. And it's going to be a staircase, obviously. But I think this is going to 
to be long enough to where it'll be a good staircase. And I can completely shut off this area so nothing else can come and kill me. There we go. And I'm going to do a thing on top as well so I have a way to get down. I'm going to actually use stairs this time because I have enough blocks now. There we go. All right. That'll be the way I dig down now. Oh, that's... That's where all the monsters are. That is not good whatsoever. What do we do? What do, what do we even do? I don't think we could even do anything. See, it's not, I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is the skeletons, because the skeletons obviously can shoot me from a range, and they hit me down there, I am, I'm dead. I, I'm dead. I'm not, I'm not, not dying from that. At least I think that I'll definitely die from that. I don't want to die to that, but I want to mine. I really should have thought about this. I did, so yeah, that sounds not good. See, like, like, what, what, what the, what the heck in frick? I just got a mob spawner in my backyard, under, or underneath my house, but I can't, I can't do anything about it, because they can just hit me from there um oh there we go there we go there we go that was so risky but if i do this and then boom i could do that and then i could do this and i could do that's not good hey, what you got you want to show yourself mate ah, weave you garbage i would like oh oh and he's dead goodbye let me just get down here i got some string. Okay, that's pretty nice. What is over here, though? Skeletons. All right. Well, I think that's about it. Um, this block is going to be nothing. Where's the skeleton at? He disappeared. Oh, he's right there. Oh, and he's dead. Do I have torches? I do. Um, on that note, torches will be huge help, so we're going to go and craft some more. I'm glad those guys are safe, actually, because there's two definite things that will be there forever and ever. And run flesh is kind of a good... It's not a good source of food whatsoever, but it is a source of food, and that's all that matters. I don't know if you know right now, but we're gaming. We're absolutely gaming right now. Got more coal? We needed that. We needed that. And I would say tomorrow's going to be an eventful day, but it's really not. I mean, we get water. That's huge, but all we get is water water and two pieces of wheat and that's it <laughs> so we can't really do much with that we can take the water and use it to expand our farm which we'll probably do but we don't really have room for that either so <laughs> i don't i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do we're gonna figure it out though oh oh where where are you guys coming from slim pickings buddy you're not that guy you're not even gonna touch me weak sauce easy because i'm just a gamer like that i'm a gamer like that you thought you could kill me thought you, you thought you could lay a finger on me no uh are there more up here? I think I hear more up here. No, but there are more villagers up here. What the heck? I guess I didn't light up stuff very well. There must be a cave nearby though, because I hear all the time. And politely annoying, mate. But I digress. It's actually taking quite a while. I forget how long stuff like this takes, but it's not a big deal. I'm also going to just make sure there's no possible way I can die to death, because dying to death is not very good. Probably do this to- oh, iron. Let's go when it's not just one. Finally. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay. So we got eight right there. Let's go. That's huge, actually. I'll leave that exposed so when we come down on tomorrow, we can get some more of that. Oh, and another day has started and it expanded. So let me just go and grab it real quick. Boom. We just got 10. We just got 10 iron right there. It's huge. So since the next day, we'll go and head up and see what else we got on the day. That's another one and a half things right there. Go and smelt all that really quick. Very quickly. Do our daily thing of expanding the, the island. But today is a special day. We can get carrots. We have carrots now. And we can get some more wheat. The big thing is we have water water in a bucket huge huge i'm gonna go and plant the carrots back though just use that as enough farmland i'm actually going to place that there and hold that out too and then boom and plant the last carrot because we're gonna want to make an automatic farm of those with these guys for some money for some money all right i mean that's all we can do with that there's literally nothing else we can do up here we're gonna go ahead and go finish the mines down here just because we still need to get diamonds make some armor all this kind of stuff i think next we'll probably try to make some Iron armor. I'm going to make a chest plate and a, eh, I think I think I'm going to go with the chest plate because hopefully I'll have to make some iron pickaxes soon so we can get some diamonds. Let's go. Um, what happened? That is not me. Okay, that's better. There we go. There's Schmizzle. All right, before I go down to the mines, I just realized I probably should go ahead because of that sound right there should make a shield. It will greatly increase my chances of living just in case we are in any danger. I would still rather not perish. And I should probably make some more tools. I'm all over the place right now. We're all good though. Here's the cobblestone. 
Boom. All right. And let's head down. Oh, then I, I don't know what I'm doing. My brain just doesn't brain sometimes. I wish my brain would brain all the time, but there we go. Now we can go down. Now we're good. So I'm really trying to get down to some diamonds or even just some more iron. I'd be really happy if we had a full set of iron armor and being able to use a bunch of iron tools would be very nice. But then yet again, I might be wasting my time just because we could very well just get unlimited diamond stuff from one of our villagers. But I digress. We'll just, we'll keep having fun with this. We need an enchantment table anyways. So as I'm recording this video, OG Fortnite has come back. So if y'all would like to see me build tilted towers in my hardcore Minecraft world, let me know in the comments. I mean, I was what, 13 when Fortnite came out and it was very huge with my friend group. And I played that pretty much all day, every day. I wasn't the best, but I was good enough to get some wins. Obviously not good enough to play it all the time because I'm playing Minecraft right now. I just think it's cool. It's cool that it came back. I think Fortnite and Minecraft kids kind of collide too. All right, the lost pickaxe. What are your thoughts on milk? Like obviously drinking milk with cereal is, I mean, obviously that's what you do, but would you, are you the type of person to go get, go and specifically get a glass of milk? Like just a glass of milk or would you have a glass of milk with something to eat or do you just despise milk? Or are you lactose intolerant? Cause some people just can't tolerate it. I don't, I don't understand that. I stand with the lactose intolerant people and I hope one day you can get over your intolerance to lactose and we have have found a cave. Um, can we build off of this? Yes, we can. Oh, that would be a skeleton. I don't want to die, so let's figure this thing out. That's actually a lot of mobs. Try to place some torches down. I don't think I'm messing with that, honestly. I think we're chilling on that for today. How do I deal with that? What do I do? Do I just have a bunga? Actually, that's a terrible idea. Um, I need a bow. Let me go back and get a bow. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, why did I come up here? Our wheat has grown and we have more wheat seeds too that means one more piece of bread let's go um so why did i come back up i don't know but what we need to do is we need to get these villagers sorted out but to do that we need more crops to get more crops we need this stuff to grow and for this stuff to grow we probably should get some bone meal so i guess the answer to our problem is going to kill all those skeletons down there but do i want to do that i don't know i don't want to die but what are other some other professions that we can get some stuff out of i think that's the only one this thing there's there's so much there. Okay, let me start off with this. Some days there are, is nothing to do. And then there slowly becomes a lot of stuff to do just because of the progression that you get. Because one little area expands. You're like, oh my goodness, I have access to this now. So I could do these things, but I need to wait to do those things because I can't do them yet because I don't have enough stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Everything is just fine and dandy. Whatever, whatever. So I guess I'll just do this just for now. Do I carve the rest of this out? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. It'll just look better that way. And I can slowly just build this up. I'm actually going to plop a torchy down there, mate. And then I'll just continue to see this is cool. I'm very excited for this thing. But if I had this in a normal world, this section would be crazy. Like I could actually have my base in here, which in I mean, I'm going to do that anyways. But like in a normal world, I would have no limitations and I could just be crazy with it. I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. There we go. All right. It's looking nice. And then the little thing down here. Okay. So what did I come up here for? A bow. I didn't even finish this. Sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. There we go. Now that looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I came down here for a bow and a bow is what I'll make. I have, oh, I do have, I have bone meal. What did I need bone meal for? What, what was I saying bone meal? For the crops. That's what it is. Okay. Do I make the bow now? Or, eh, I can always use a bow. I'll go and make it. There we go. There's our bow ski. But I do have 27 bone meal. That's great. I'll be bone mealing them carrots. All of our trees are growing nice. I think we're going to make our house out of some pink trees. Some more carrots. Nice. Okay, don't be taking my carrots, pal. Boom, 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 boom. We're getting so many carrots right now. All right, 32 carrots out of the 27 bone meal. That is pretty good. Um, and then next we get beetroots. I know beetroots aren't very good, but I think it, they're going to be worth farming just so we can get more emeralds and whatnot. I think the border is about to expand as well. Let me go get some more dirt to expand the top of this. And maybe we can get a rabbit over here. See, before the next day. Oh, never mind. The next day just started. Exciting stuff. Oh, uh, okay. So every other day it does expand by two because I can see two, but it doesn't exactly say that. I mean, it's all the same. We're all good. We will be able to get some more carrots and beetroot today. Nice. Ooh, and wait, did that that fill in or I have no idea. Um, so now I'm just going to make it up here. Boom. There we go. And we get a second thing of water, infinite water source. Oh no, I can't. I just messed up. I messed up. I... I forgot. Oh, I didn't mess up. Hold on. Let's watch this. My my brain is huge. Maybe. And my brain might be humongous. Small brain turned into big brain. Boom. Huge brain, actually. Nice, nice. Let's 
go and then we can do that i don't have my hoe boom boom there we go and then we can plant more of our carrots exciting stuff right here we can chop this up and do the same thing put some dirt down form that right there and we'll start planting our beetroots right here because i think i'm gonna scrap wheat as a whole because in the end wheat's not really a matter we're gonna be able to get as many gold carrots as we can and so i think we'll be just fine with what we're doing i think he's trying to go over to the composter but obviously the order is stopping him from that but He's a natural born farmer is what I'm seeing. That's what he's showing me right now. So I guess he has to pick up the hoe. That, yeah, farmers use hoes. Of course. I'm not an idiot, I promise. I know what I'm talking about. Sort of. Maybe. But yeah, we got more and more farm space. Let's go. We didn't really get anything else over here, but that's not a big deal. I think I plant all of these carrots down here, actually. We go grab the water. A bowl of water. Sorry if you're British. I didn't mean that in a bad sense. You just say some words funny. And that's okay. Because I say words funny to y'all. So it doesn't it doesn't matter. We're all humans in the end. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We plant in this one right here. Perfect, perfect stuff. Alright, now it's time to get to farming down here. After all, this is where all of our villagers are gonna be. But before I do that, can I waterlock a fence? I'm pretty sure I can. Can I do that? Yes, I can. I can go and boom. There we go. It doesn't look too fancy, but we'll do nothing but expand this farm. Can I make it? <gasps> I made it. Let's go. Huge. All right. Apparently, if you place them in a straight line, they grow faster. I don't know how true that is, but we're going to find out today. And I guess we can place our wheat seeds as well, just for now, just for more food. But yeah, I don't know if I really want to plant all that stuff. Obviously, I want eight dozen carrots. I might actually just scrap the beetroot, too. I don't know if that's even worth it. I think I'm actually going to take all this and move it down here. Eh, I'll let it grow. I'll let it grow. It's not a big deal. We'll be chilling. We'll be chilling, mate. But we can make another slice of bread. Put all the extra stuff in there. Um, let's go and go chop some of those trees down. Get some more wood. We're gonna need some more oak saplings because we're running pretty low. I'm not getting the luckiest. But soon we'll have more oak trees anyway, so I think we'll be good. Pretty soon we'll have birch. Not that I'm a fan of birch, but it's another tree that we'll have. I don't- I guess. I don't know. Like I said, not a fan. Let me know if you're a birch hater in the comments down below because I'm a birch hater. I'm definitely- I'm- um, I might not be a birch hater. I'm definitely not a birch lover, though. Birch is kind of gross. But this cherry wood is great. Birch is definitely better than some woods, though. I will agree. Acacia is probably the worst wood. Bamboo wood's kind of cool, actually. I haven't used it much, but it is rather interesting. But stripped birch logs is probably one of the best stripped logs, at least. I mean, obviously, all the cherry variants look fantastic. I'm getting quite a bit of the saplings back. That's huge. We go and plant some of these as well. I still don't know what the rabbit's doing. Oh, and he's... Just died. He just killed himself. And there's his meat. Oh no, not the rabbit meat. What a sad story. I was gonna give him a name, give him a house, a nice place to live. But I guess he didn't want to live. Alrighty, cut all of the trees down. And we've got a little house right here too. And it's probably gonna come down. But we'll enjoy it for now. Time to go back down. Time to go down. And dump everything in the chest. I think we're gonna take a nap too. Oh, never mind. There's monsters nearby. Is there a zombie in here? No? Where's he at? Yeah, whatever. I'll move my bed. Suck it, zombie. But I'll move it back. Just because I'm nice. The day made it expand two more blocks. Let's go. Hooray, hooray. I probably should do something about that. Oh, there's an emerald right there. Wow. That actually might be... I'm actually grabbing that right now. And I can spawn proof below me, too. Boom. Bam. Bam. Isn't it an iron pick? I think it is. All right, so let's... I almost just fell down. Let's drop that right there. And let's, let's go down. Okay, so it's not really that big of a, of a cave. But I still think it's worth lighten it up quite a bit just in case and we can go ahead and grab this emerald which can start off of our trades all right oh we can almost grab the meat no no not the meat not the rabbit meat i kind of want it though wait let me expand this out a little more i gotta go do my daily dirt stuff i'm not i'm not complaining whatsoever i get more farmland so it's pretty nice and it's really not that hard to do it's not hard to do actually whatsoever but you do have to mine some stuff out all right hooray let's go put that down in there and i'll keep the pickaxe in there just so i don't lose it make myself a new hoe mm, i guess i could Renovate over here too. I don't know. Renovations are taking up quite a bit of my time. And I have to go up top and do the same thing and yada, yada, yada. Whatever, whatever. I mean, it's all going to be worth it, but when do I say that's enough? When do I say no? I think I'm about to run out of dirt too. I mean, it's not like there's so much more everywhere else, but this villager is locked in. Look at him. Look at him. He is locked into that composter. He wants it badly. He wants it so bad. But that is unfortunate, mate. But you do get more crops, which is pretty huge, and more crop space. But we will plant some more carrots right here. That will not hurt whatsoever. Boom, boom. 
Here we go. Nice little plot up here. Wait, why did I do that? I haven't even finished downstairs. I don't know. I'll just plant the wheat seeds, I guess. Not a big deal. But before we do that, we do not have enough dirt to do this. Easy fix. And some hay bales are in here now. I'll just break the shovel, right? Oh, didn't even make a noise. And then I will do the thing that I need to do. Nice. Once all this grows back, I'm not going to replace any of it. I'll just bring it downstairs. And then I'll end up flattening this out and building a nice little base. But I am going to get some more of this food. That is a lot of food. I guess he's locked into something too. He's been in this corner this whole time. There's probably more I can do up there, but I am fully ready to do stuff down here now. All right. All right. Wish I can get rid of the zombie, but not a big deal. I could make all of this into wheat. That's only like three emeralds. I don't know. I bet it's worth the bread. So I'll just go ahead and Whoop, double my food supply. Let's go. But now I guess we will finally head down to the mines. Let's go. We're gaming. We're making so much progress. And I think tomorrow is the time we start making villagers. We need to make a breeder for them too, which I didn't think about that. So let me go make some more torches. I don't know what I'm doing. Just so indecisive. I'm so indecisive, mate. There we go. Two stacks of torches. I don't know if that's, that's way too much, but we will always need torches. So we'll be good. We're gaming. Let's figure out our situation down here. All right. I know there's probably a cave that way. I'm not, I'm not freaking with it right now. We could take all the spawns. I need all these spawns down in the place where I'm going. Okay, okay. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh man. We're gaming though. We're good. I'm not gonna be dying today. Not quite the cave I was looking for, but I'll be doing that. There's some iron and gold. Huge. Okay, well. Oh, that would be a creeper. That's not cool. I don't even like letting him blow up. We're gaming right now. We're gaming. We, we might not be gaming. Ow. Okay. No, like I said, we're gaming. Trust the process. Trust the process, boys. That creeper did a lot of damage to me. Not cool. There's three of them. Ow. Hey, hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa. Ow. Where you at, pal? Freaking heckin' loser. Ooh. Hearts are racing a little bit. And the world border has expanded again. And we can get some iron, finally. There's a Enderman up here. Do not look at the tall, scary man. I don't even like him being in here. Everyone type gamer in the comments right now. If I'm an epic, big Minecraft gamer. My problem is, is the cave's over here. I'm going to come back down here at some point, And there's going to be so much stuff that I haven't lit up because of that very reason. And that is okay. I will figure that out when I get to it, I guess. I just want to make sure everything is lit up. But 28 iron is fantastic exquisite all right so let's get this gold as well i really don't know what i'm gonna use gold for i don't need to cure zombie villagers all right so i am not gonna get greedy i'm going to go back up no diamonds yet but we got quite a bit of iron that time and let's see how much progress we made on our farm how much stuff has grown some stuff okay i'll take it and let's get all of our wheat as well i'll, I'll keep planting this just because we ain't got nothing else right now but let's go ahead and smelt all that stuff put all this stuff in the chest that we got as well make another thing of bread the bread was huge in the mine we'll grab the dirt but we're gonna run out pretty soon. One, two, three, four. And that's gonna be the last part of our farm down here for now. We might make another section once we get enough, but we will be making some pants. Let's go. My, my chest plate didn't even get hit that much. Only 10 times. That's actually really good. We have a sheep. <gasps> Where did you come from, buddy? Hello. I'm gonna get some fences. You're getting, you're getting put in a fence. I'm not letting you die. Boom. There you go. Perfect. We got more hay bales too. We got some more trees growing up here. This villager is still rubbing up on the, the border over there. But we do have another... We have potatoes now. A lot more plots of land up here too. And more carrots that grew. So that's great. What are you doing? Oh, your head is in half. Oh, that's exactly why I came over here. Okay. I, I totally just jumped. I totally jumped in my in my chair. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I, I jumped in my chair. I jumped. It was scary. Okay. Let me make a... Oh, let me finish my armor at least. I'll make a shovel. I immediately forgot why. Oh, never mind. I know why. See, when I come back and do stuff like this, it really makes me be grateful for diamond and netherite tools. Because this could be done in like two seconds. But I don't have the means to do it in two seconds. So I'll take a little longer to do it. So I got enough to finish this over here. Boom. And sooner or later, this is going to be remodeled. I guess I wouldn't mind using another iron ingot for a shovel. I'm actually balling, so it doesn't really matter. As I'm working hard in the fields, the border expands. I'm excited. All right, now all we gotta do is destroy this thing and destroy the farm. It expand by two blocks again, so we have more potatoes. Hooray. That's huge. We just have so much stuff now. I have another section we can mark off over here. Boom. And we can destroy the floating island thing. That's been here for quite a while. Oh, and the, far the farmer's back. Hey, he's farming crops, though. That's a no-no. Wait, what do you have? Nope. 
Sorry, sir. I'm actually going to destroy all of this for now. Right, I'll just go ahead and mine all this too. We will fill all this in finally. Now we finally got that sectioned off. We'll finish that up later. I can get all of these hay bales for some more food. We have a couple more things over this way. What do I do with that? Do I... I think I do some cobblestone back there. Honestly, I do a line of cobblestone. And even if I do another section, I do the line of cobblestone. Then I do another section, I think. I think that look good. I'll go and put dirt in it as I can. And what I will do is I'll go ahead and I'll let all the other wheat grow, but I'm not going to regrow it. I'll just throw all the seeds out. We're not poor anymore, okay? We're not poor. We do not need any of the wheat. We can start planting potatoes. And the rest can be carrots. I'll go ahead and finish whatever up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Farm's almost done. Nice. Might as well just make a props chest. Make one. I'm going to set it right in here. Boom. And it's just going to be carrots and potatoes. I'm going to throw everything else out. I don't need anything else. We'll gladly make all of this into some food, though. But I will be throwing out all of the wheat seeds. Don't need those anymore. All right. You can stay up there for now. I'm not really worried about you, sir. We're pretty protected. We will need another shovel, though. See, what do I do about over here? I don't know. I don't want this guy down yet. So do I make a breeder so I can get him down? I know the other guy's in the hole in the back. Do I carve out this and make a breeder over there? What do I do? I think I'll line this out. So it's going to be like... That, that doesn't, that's not aligned. Hold on. Yeah, okay, that'll work. That'll be like the exit out of here. I'll figure stuff out like that. I don't know. It'll look good when this is out. Okay, that'll be the outline of that. Then we're gonna chop that down. What do I want? Yeah, I guess we'll just mow this down really quick. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. And there we go. Now does that look a little more natural? Okay, yeah. It'll look better when this is chopped out too. All right, that is done. Order's gonna expand before I can get this done, which kind of sucks, but that is how life works. Boom, 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 boom. I think this is completely fine. Let me do this part now. Oh, that's some thunder. That's um, that's a no-no. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Been trapped up here for quite some time. What do you have sparkles for? No. He's gonna go into my bed. I guess it won't be that bad. He'll be chilling down there, so. Oh, what I'll do now, actually, because I'm gonna need beds. I'm gonna go shear my sheep before I forget. Because if I don't shear him now, he won't have more wool later, so it's just better to do that, so. I only got one. That's cool. Nice game. Good game. Gonna need myself a another shovel. Boom, 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 boom. The border has expanded again. Okay. And he got out. I don't know how, but he's out. What's gonna happen again, huh? Surge protector? Hold on. What even is that ad advancement? Where's that even at? Protect a villager from an undesired shock without starting a fire. Okay. Thank you, I guess. Well, I'm not complaining about free advancements. It's gonna take me a lot longer than I expected, but it needs to be done. And I will do what needs to be done. Who's excited for Christmas? I'm excited for Christmas. Are you excited for Christmas? All right. I guess this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna start doing it from below just because I know there is plenty of, plenty of space underneath here that will be not occupied. If you guys want me to stream stuff like this let me know i'll be happy to stream me playing some minecraft and i thought about if i get enough people in my streams i'll do a 100 days but my chat controls my game kind of thing i know you've seen those things maybe where you like donate or something i don't i don't know how it works you do something and my game does something obviously it won't be hardcore because there's a chance that you could like, kill me so i wouldn't be wanting to waste your time or your money like that so i thought about that so if you want to see that better hit that subscribe button and check out for the, for the streams all right now back to mining i don't know but i think i spent this whole entire time just mining stuff out how did you get over there what do you no no where's he going i need you no stop stop it what do i what do i do why is he down there that's a freaking heckin loser and there's an enderman in my base don't look at me i'm not looking at you pal i'm not a fan of enderman honestly a little bit scary oh and that's what I was talking about. Let's just pretend that it's not there. Another iron pickaxe gone. I just need a diamond pickaxe. I need to get a diamond villager. I need to get a villager that will sell me diamond tools is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I need one of those guys. Then I'll be chilling. Then I'll be gaming. That looks a lot better. I still need to go. Oh, wait, did the date? The date changed, right? Let me go and figure this out. Boom. I don't need that much dirt, but let's go and expand. It's only one. All right, fine with me. I still don't entirely know what I want to do with all this up here, but obviously I'm going to make a house up here. Make a really nice base. I still don't know what to do yet. Ooh. We're getting close to another bed. I think we... Yeah, we're almost there. That's good. This sheep is also... Grew its hair back. Let me... And this villager's just dead set on that house. Is that a librarian's house? I don't know. But I know there's a blast furnace in there, which I think is Schoolsmith, maybe? And tomorrow we get Birch, which you know how I feel about Birch already. Where's he at? Oh, he's right there. Okay. And now he's right there. 
All right. And I'll let you get a block to get back up. Now come to the bed. Come to the bed. Come to the bed. There you go. Now we can start working on the reader. Obviously, we don't have enough wool and whatnot yet, but I can keep working at the farm as well. Um, Actually, let's revamp the farm. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm just going to tear everything down and divide up the carrots and potatoes. Boom. All right, all right. So left side will be the potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we will plant the carrots over here. I think at some point I will make it more apparent where it starts and ends. But for now, it'll be just fine. Just glad to be a little organized. Boom. And we got plenty of carrots left over for our other farm. Nice. So I think I'll put some farmers over here. Like I'll, th that's where the farmer stalls will be. Just because it'll be the land right here and then the farmers. Just so I can get more crops. I'll probably make different rows right here for different professions. Sessions. I'll, I'll have it figured out. It'll look good. It'll be nice. Day's about to switch over, so we're about to get another part of land. Oh, and a new day has started, and the border has been expanded. I would like to put you in a hole. Boom. Ha ha. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, let's go check on my sheep. Get him all situated. I know he has his fur back and I'll be taking it. Thank you. And I got three from that one. So now we have enough for another bed. The only thing about the villager breeder is I need, I think it's six beds. And we have some more stuff up here for us. We can get this other bed in here. Boom. Let me get some hay bales though. Some hay bales, brother. I still need to destroy that, but I'd rather have all this stuff down here ready to go and already culminating. So let me go ahead and I'm going to need a couple of pickaxes. Let me make those. Now go ahead and just dig this out really quick. Do that first. See the dimensions of it. I don't know how far I want to go. We don't need to go too far. We need to go far enough to where there is enough room for the builder breeder. I think that'll probably be enough. And I'll meet over here. What's... Where did these... Where did you come from? What the heck? Can he spawn right there? I, I don't know. I don't know anymore about this game. Is that perfect? That's perfect. There we go. All right. I'll be digging this out. All right. I'm going to do this cool transition. Watch watch this. All right. All right. All right. Let me, let me get on one Q and then three, two, one. Boom. You no, know, it doesn't look like much, but that took me almost 30 minutes. <laughs> Maybe not that long, but it took me quite a while. I'm thinking to have the villagers this way, because I don't think if I put them right here and they flow over that way, there'll be enough room to have the collection and everything. So I don't think it'll fit right there. So I'll do it in here. If I need to dig into that wall, fine, I will. So it will not be that big of a deal, but it seems like we're done with the mining, but we're not. I want to leave at least a little barrier around here. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Yeah, see, that would not be near enough space. So I'll we'll have to dig into there, but that's not a big deal whatsoever. We just do have to dig out the floor, but we can deal with that, I guess. So much digging. I want to stop. And I ran out of iron, so I had to use some stone pickaxes. Made it a lot slower. The day did pass, so the border did expand, but I have not done anything with that yet. So I'm just focused on this. Once this is done, then I can start focusing on some more stuff. Wow, this keeps going. Since I mentioned that, let me go ahead and farm the crops. I didn't even think about that. A couple of them are nice and grown. I think we have just enough potatoes to fill out the whole spot. Nice. And let's see what's up with the carrots. Right. And we got a little over a stack. That's nice. We are almost ready for the villagers to come down, but not quite. And we're done with that. Now we just fill this all in just like so. And I'll place my water right there. Oh, everything. We're gonna have to make another one, but that is okay. Nice. Some good stuff right there. And we will throw all the carrots in there. I I'm just going to do carrots just because we have so, so many of them. I am going to need some more iron as the next day starts. I guess I can go and just look at what's new. Got a little bit further over here all the way down. We're going to get access to the water soon. Not that we really need it, but just some more land. Have another tree we can chop. This villager is getting ever so slightly closer to his home. And we're starting to get into this little valley thing. I don't even know what you want to call that. We're making some progress on the barrier, I guess. And there is some more land that we could section off. Ooh. Ooh, that is a problem. That's a pretty big problem, actually. I guess we'll go and deal with that really quick. Also, I will be torching up this place so nothing spawns over here. No googly spawn about. That's the only problem with getting some new new land is I have to go and spawn proof everything. All right, let's go see what's up with the, the googlies down here. I have a bow. All right. I think it's a creeper. Then everything just explodes. At least it should. I activate a creeper. Is that is that a mistake? Yes, that is a mistake. No, it's not. Oh, I'm just gaming. I'm gaming so hard. Look at me game. Look at me go. That scared me. That zombie hit me at the last second, so I thought that I might have been toast. Too bad I'm literally just the biggest gamer ever. There's so much stuff down here. Yep, that's not funny. I really like that. Now, we'll look at him down here. Ow. Okay, it was just a spider. It's scaring me so 
Stop. Get out. Leave. I never want to see you again. He just started running at me. I thought I was toast. Here we go. That's all dealt with. Not have to worry about that again. There is some more space over here. Okay, now what was I going to do? I did get a music disc. Malohi. That's cool, I guess. Here we go. Keep farming that sheep for its beautiful wool. That's actually a lifesaver, too, because I'll be able to get this thing going pretty quickly. I only need, I think it's five more. No, four, three. Ah. I need five more. Yeah, I do need five more. I'm actually gonna go fix that guy up up there. There we go. All right, now you're in a little cage. Wait, what do I do? I need a composter. I know that. Boom, there we go. And then with that, and then I gotta do this right there. I'm gonna need some more cobblestone. I'm just gonna do cobblestone walls for now until I get glass. I'll make it look all nice and whatnot. And I will wait to finish this other side so I can just put them in. Also, collection right here. Pretty sure it goes... Kind of like this. Get a couple trap doors. I think I go one, two, three. Never mind. I don't go any longer. All right. I do need sign though. Make a cherry sign, even though you won't be able to see it. Oh, I need trap doors too. Nice, nice. They'll both be open. Three beds. And I'm pretty sure it works just like this. I'll boom. That looks wrong. It's off centered. Um, let me do it this way then. Boom, boom, boom. And then, yep, dig out this right here. I think that's perfect. So what they'll do is they'll breed. The little babies are going to come to the beds. They're going to fall down to the hole. The hole's going to be a little bit further that way. I think it's going to flow with water. And it's going to be happy. And it's going to be great. So they're going to be in a box forever. Exciting stuff, I know. So I'll go one more. And I'll have the collection chamber go. And that should reach all the way, right? Yeah, that, I think that's right. Okay, and then we have sign that says subscribe on it and then a sign that says you schmizzle boom there we go w and then we need some more water as well all right and then we just place that right there because they should blow up this will be where they're all they all flow and be just chilling and for the next part i'm gonna need powered rails and regular rails and a mine cart and a dispenser so i'm gonna need some redstone obviously and a couple more good stuff but we don't really need that to be made yet we can just do it later get set up let's put things in the things and then start you know breeding whatever i don't know how that works but they'll do their thing and then they'll get put into a corner there we go and that is the collection chamber let's see if this guy wants to be a gamer no not the bed oh okay oh okay let me just let me get this guy out of here boom get in the boat get in the boat there we go okay i guess you can go to bed let me lock this off right here i guess i'll go to bed too day's gonna roll over no you're not supposed to go over there why are you going that way you guys are so dumb he's the farmer okay good so now you can go over to him boom there we go all right and then we will no okay i'm thick and tired of these villagers already they've been sitting around the house i've kind of been starving them but other than that they can stop misbehaving and getting the getting the thing and start breeding what are you doing here now there you go there you go i think that's it that's pretty much it i just need to break this again obviously because i will have this blocked off like this um i do need to do it like that just in case they want to jump over but exactly how it is and then it's just broken up right there and then they and then they get stuck in there nice i think they'll still go for the beds like that i might need to actually use glass so, so they can actually physically see it they will start throwing carrots and stuff to each other i'm gonna go ahead and take all these and throw them in there so they can start breeding i know it takes 20 minutes or a full minecraft day for so villagers can grow up it might be a second but we have our villager breather set we still need another bed i don't know how much that actually matters i can confidently say that we'll be cranking out babies pretty soon oh they're already doing it. I think it said no because there's not another bed. Or he didn't give consent. Or she didn't give consent. I don't know. He's so close to getting in his house. What is that? Is it a library? Let's see if they can do it now. Because they're trying to do it, but it doesn't let them because there's not enough beds, I don't think. See all the hearts, and then it sees the, the clouds. And what if I place the bed down? Let's watch. Or in reality, you do not want to sit there and watch people do this but it's just a game okay no funny business happening here it's exactly how it works in real life when you love someone so much babies just appear so i don't know why they're not breeding and he'll keep farming the carrots and keep getting carrots because the inventory will keep being full so he can keep breeding but it doesn't look like that's happening right now i'm really not entirely sure why hopefully i don't think there's any monsters nearby right if so that's gonna suck because we have to go and figure that out all right so i'll put all the potatoes in here i'm gonna give them the carrots i really want this thing to start working but and he has a w tree so we'll go and lock that in actually we got what a deal in our first emerald too they doing it now <gasps> they're doing it again what why aren't you breeding because the beds aren't physically visible yeah that might be why i mean if that doesn't work then i don't know it's looking good wait the heart stopped <gasps> and there's a is that there's a baby yay 
I think it's because the beds weren't visible and he's already gone. Okay, I don't think that'll be a problem. I think they will not be able to reach it unless he just makes an MLG gamer move. So yeah, that's done. That's good. We'll see him grow up over there. I guess? Hmm, I don't know. All I know is that I'm going to build another shield. That's for sure. Okay, maybe there's some more extended things down, down in the cave. So let me go down and see if I can mine some extra iron. Give me all your balls. I want your balls. All right, and it's more than one. Hopefully no real threats have spawned in the area. Area. I did get seven pieces of iron and a lot of balls. I love picking up random sacks on the ground. That is a creeper. Where did you come from, pal? That's where they came from. Okay, but that could be a problem. I don't actually don't really know. Not too worried about dying from up there. Problem is, I cannot get all that iron. I can, but I'm yeah, I'm not. I'm not. It's not worth it to me. It's not worth it. I think I go up there. I have a really high chance of dying. I don't want to die because if I die, I'm I'm dead. And dying is not good. There is that Enderman is just chilling in there. It's some redstone which I will need. That's good that that's exposed. I got what I came for. I probably need more, but oh, there is more. I forgot. Okay, one piece. Can we get much higher? So high, so high. Or, 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 I think that might have been it, actually. There's nothing else. I could start strip mining, but I don't really need to, so I'm gonna have to come back for that redstone once I can make a pickaxe. But for now, we will be going back up. Let us go back up. We're we're zooming right now. Look at me. All right, did we make any more babies? Okay, they're trying to get to the beds too. That's not cool. He's obviously not growing up yet, but but they you know did the did the Fortnite together for a little little longer. We got a bunch of sacks. We got more bones. We got some balls. Got some iron as well. It's just been, you know, pretty good. Successful trip. Let me go ahead and grab that right there. And I will make the smithing table unless I can wait another day and it's in that house over there. Let me just, let me speculate. It's not in the house. Electron's in the house, which is good. We will need a librarian. That's a, that's a blast furnace in there. And that is for armor, which is going to be good. We will need that. But right now, not so much. Look at how much this expanded while i wait on the next day oh never mind let's see if he can get in the house yet let's see if i can get in nope we are one day away from being able to open the door we can't actually get in there till the day after so let's try to get you a smithing table here pal see if you like that all right is this what your profession will be sir if he's stuck on that that's gonna actually be bad right no he okay he will come back to this huh just because it nope apparently not i guess he is stuck on that that's not cool what if i like show it to him what if i'm in his face with it oh he went oh he's going down do you not want to work sir I just no nope. okay okay he's just juking me out i think i have to wait for him to be able to get to the lectern i didn't even realize this was just open like that do i need to close that probably actually do some dirt i'll change the look up and everything obviously but i would like some better tools oh they're they're doing it again another baby He's sent to the shadow realm. He's already gone. We don't have villager yet, but we will pretty soon. We'll be all good. So I think it was the fact that they could not see the beds. I'm also going to, while I'm thinking about stuff, I'm going to farm these potatoes. Are you team potato or team carrot? Let me know. Me personally, in Minecraft, I'm team carrot, but in real life, I'm team potato because potatoes are pretty freaking sick. You just do so much with potatoes. We've got some more carrots for some more trades. Wish this guy had some potato trades, but that's fine. I will also, I didn't make all that bread, right? There's still hay bales, yeah. I'm gonna trade that for some emeralds as well. Because the trade's not gonna go away, so I might as well. And with that, level them up. Because the goal with this guy is to level them up as much as possible. We can get more food. Because I know he doesn't have the right trades, but I'm gonna get the right trades with other farmers so I can make profits off of that. This guy is for the food and obviously for the breeder. But when I can just jump over and talk to him, I might as well. But now I do have infinite food, which is good. I don't need animals for food. I will gladly make some more torches because I will always need torches. I'm not trying to get smoked by any creepers or skeletons, mate. So I'll be placing these around here. But this... It's kind of looking nice. I mean, not nice as in the, the look aspect, but the fact that it's coming together. I know I haven't done anything with my house or anything up top. We're only on day number 18, so we have a lot of game to play. We're almost over to this house right here. It's amazing how much the thing can grow 20 days. I think I just need this and boom, boom, for the rails. Yep, got my rails. I need power rails now, so let me go and put my gold in there. I need to make an iron pickaxe and go get the redstone, so all my iron is practically gone. It's still a good cause, so. We're all good. I need one more piece of iron too because I need to make a I need to make a mine cart. I think we can get the redstone that's right here. Let's go. Should be plenty of redstone too. 
There we go. And that's exactly what we needed. That is all we came for. That is all we need. We are chilling and I will be heading back up immediately. Ooh, there we go. Let's check if there's a grown up. There he is. Look at him. He looks so funny looking because he's got a big old nose. But on that note, let's go ahead and slam these back into there. We have just enough for some rails. Grab this speed run. Oh, oh, we need boom, boom. That's a lie. I actually don't know what we need. Why does it why does it have to be down here? Whatever, we got it. And we got our iron. So we'll stick that in there. We will go ahead and build this right here and see what's up. Oh, that's not good. We'll be digging out an area for these guys. We have this right here. Boom. And then boom. It's like this. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And it goes up. Well, he's here now. Let me throw that in there and then... Okay, well, not, not cool, not cool. There we go. That should work. So what you can do there, pal. Actually, I need to make this a little wider. We can place this boat down. Get him in the boat. Get in the boat. Um, I can't get around. I'll just go through. There we go. So we go ahead and do that, and then boom. We successfully have infinite villagers. Hooray! Let's go! Huge! Would you like to lock on to... Where you going? What are you doing? I'm gonna get onto this. If I place it right next to you. Come on. Let me make this another tall, because I don't want him jumping into there. You don't want to work? If you don't work, I'm gonna kill you. There we go. That's doable. I'll go ahead and take it. There we go. Now you're locked in there, pal. I guess let's get to grinding. The border extended one more. Let's go see what's up, up top. See if that guy's a librarian. Oh, he is. Okay. What do they have now? Oh, you still have a book as the first book. What? I didn't know that, but I do not want a curse of vanishing. So we will not be taking that. But then there is the last furnace in there. So another day, then we'll be able to have a armorer. But you can stay that guy for now. There's some more hay bales. Let me go and grab those so I can get some more, more emeralds from wheat. More of this is opening up, which is pretty nice. There's another emerald over there. It's almost enough for another plot as well. That's pretty, pretty sick. Exciting news. What else is opening up? Nothing really over here. We're about to get access to some more trees. That whole entire building's about to be accessible. Little hill this way. Some houses over there are close. That's pretty much it. There's probably a lot more in the caves, though. Let's get to trade and see if we can get this villager leveled up. He's going over this way. There we go. All right. Okay, I got seven more. Let's see if I can... One, two, three, four. I'll grab three of these. Two, three. I just need one more emerald. We're getting close. Keep the hose, just because we always need hose. Ha, <laughs> ha. Sorry. We got this guy almost leveled up. He's going to want iron next, which is fantastic. I'm going to need so many emeralds to level him up because I cannot afford that much iron. Unless I make an iron farm. Hmm. Um, let's see if I can make this other guy. No, 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 no. No. Thank you. That's perfect. All right. Looks like you're a hardworking man now. Boom. All right. Then I will be breaking this. I guess I will be putting that right there. I think you can reach that. If not, then I'll figure it out later. Wakey, wakey. Because I'm going to sleep. And the border has expanded. Before we go and check the other guy, level this guy up and see what he has for us next. It's going to be, yep, iron and a bell. We're going to need like 30 emeralds for that. But that actually might be better than getting iron. How much does iron do? Because I have enough to do one trade, but it does quite a bit, but I'm it's not worth it yet. Let's just see how much six gets. Not that much. Um, temporary blocks, temporary blocks, temporary blocks. All right. I'm excited that there's more to expand on, but we cannot escape. Let's go see if we can break this thing right here. We can. Can I get this over here too? I can. Let's go. Perfect. I guess I'll be making an armor already. I can just trade all of this. So let's see how much it does. It does quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, I think that's worth it. And I'll put you right next to your new friend. Some iron boots for four emeralds though. That's pretty cool, I guess. We have that going now. I do want to put farmers here, so we're not going to worry about that. We will expand our farm pretty soon. I think tomorrow. Hopefully by tomorrow we have diamond tools. A diamond pick actually would be great. Hopefully it has efficiency on it, so I don't have to actually enchant anything. I'll just keep stocking up these. I think that's what I'm going to have to do, is to do all the shovels and hoes, because four is just so much, and getting a bell for 33 emeralds is literally just nothing. So I'm going to go get all this coal that's in here. Try to level up our armor as much as possible. What we could get two is a fletcher I have enough flint for that so we can just start mining trees and get sticks i didn't even think about that boom two more he's so close let me go ahead and make a fletching table i'll go ahead and pick this other guy up out of here get in the boat get in the boat what you're gonna do is you're gonna want that immediately and he has the stick trade and i can make it immediately let's go let me actually make a stack of these cherry logs and just make them into sticks give me all of your money and that's huge that's huge i just got 16 emeralds from that no sweat at all i think it's worth doing this guy twice at least let's see what he has next Ooh, 
Okay, I'm leveling this guy up fast, apparently. I guess now we have a new objective. And I will go ahead and craft the rest of these sticks just for when he resets his tree. Hopefully it's pretty soon. Can't make that much emeralds off the crops now, but give me a couple of days or so. I did get four emeralds though. Can I finish? Oh, it's only one now. And look at all those pants. I think I will be taking a nap really quick. Here pretty soon, we're going to start working on our base. As soon as I get my money up and all these tools, that's what we're going to be going for. All right, let me just go and chop all these trees down. All right, I chopped a couple trees down, but let's see if this guy has renewed his trade. I have a feeling he has, and he has. Let's go. You can have all the sticks in the world, pal, because I know you're happy to get sticks. I don't know why. It's none of my business. All right, let's go ahead and level you up. What do you have for me now? He has a bucket of lava. Does that take my bucket? I guess I will go ahead and level him up to next level. Might as well. I think I already have diamond armor. Yep. Last protection kind of mid. Protection two, pretty good. We just need to level up our, our toolsmith. And where is our toolsmith? I spent a lot of emeralds on that guy. I guess let me get another villager and see if he goes to the thing. Does he want it? Yeah, he does. I guess the other guy died. That's what does he want this time? I guess that's the best we'll do. And I'll just be putting this over here. Okay, maybe that's why I need to make some trap doors so they can't just do that. I wish I could give these people the free will. They don't deserve it. Where did they go? Why is everybody leaving? This is how you die. Probably how the other guy died. He probably fell down there. <gasps> Another sheep. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Ooch. There we go. Boom. Perfect. Let's go. Two sheep. This is how the other guys died. What are we doing? Thought about just letting y'all roam, but y'all didn't want to cooperate. So, is these will be not your temporary places. These will be your permanent places. Doesn't look too good now. I'll move them later, but this other guy's just sleeping. I guess I'll sleep too so he can get out of the bed. Stop being lazy. All right. Where are you, sir? There's no way. Ah, have fun in prison, I guess. You're gonna, you don't want to come to that, right? But you're gonna get pranked. You're getting pranked. I hope you know you're getting pranked, right? You're literally gonna lose your free will because you can't behave. So this will be your new home. You're getting in there and you're stuck. And you're stuck. Boom. Sayonara, sayonara. Now I just need to get this freaking stupid idiot out of there. That's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, I guess y'all can go back to being slaves. Actually, come on. You can stay out. You can work for me later. Oh, he's moving the boat by himself. What the heck? We do this, and then you go inside your little box. Nope, no, 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 nope. You're not... <laughs> Why did I hit him? Get back in the boat. I'm just sick and tired of you, pal. Get pranked. Thanks for your service. Let's see how much you jacked up the prices. That's not that bad. Okay. I'll bend to your jacked up stick prices. But hello there, sir. Would like a lot of shovels from you, mate. And I can't buy any diamond armor yet. But maybe what I do is just buy some more helmets. I think that'll level them up quite a bit faster than anything else. And he's already, he's already max level. Let's see what enchantments he has on the chest plate and whatnot. Prot 2 and Prot 2. That is really good, actually. And they're not too expensive. So we already can get a full set of diamond armor for roughly, what? Almost 80 emeralds, I think. Which is pretty nice. Not too expensive. And let's level this guy up a little more. I think that's what we're going to have to do now. Nine emeralds only gets that much. That's garbage. Garbage, I tell you. We're going to make another plot of farmland just because we have enough room. Oh, I really wanted pickaxes before I did that. Okay, I can't complain. I can't complain and i will split up this plot as well i'm gonna do a little row in between these i'm just gonna dig this out just to make it look a little nicer and more sectioned out all right so let me put that down there and some water let me go grab all those hoes that i put in there i need like three of them this will be the carrots again now for this one we're gonna have to chop into the, the side a lot i'm not really looking forward to but what must be done will be done oh the world border has expanded yet again all right and i need to make myself some torches and we do have 31 potatoes to a plant on the second plot and let's just keep farming all the carrots all right let me expand this over here okay so after filling it in already i think what i want to do is since this part kind of wraps around i'll keep doing this all the way until it fills up but this will wrap around and have a staircase coming up here so it'll just be it'll be a big old staircase going down to my base and then there'll be a little staircase down over there but it'll all kind of incorporate together it'll be all good yeah it's kind of what it's looking like right now I still want a lot of tools before I start working on that, just so it'll be so much faster, so much easier too. Uh, zombie chicken? Um, okay. I will take the chicken. You can you can stay in there, chicken. Oh, I hate spawn proofing. It's terrible. It's garbage. Maybe I get the chicken in a boat. Can I put you in a boat? But does he like boat? I want him in a boat. Is he gonna get in the boat? 
He's in the boat. Nice. All right. You can just stay there. I will let you just chill. I will come back for you later. I'll leave that right there just in case I just forget. I feel like I hear stuff up here. That's the problem. This thing's place is getting so big that things might just start spawning. And you just spawned. Hello. What do you have for me, sir? Um... You're garbage. All right. I don't need you. I don't want you. I need your leads, though. That's what I need. Sorry, sir. Thank you. And your leather. Hmm. That's pretty good as well. Okay. You're all good. You don't matter. You just need sticks. And you, my friend, need a lot of emeralds. Let me just take all of my wood and make it into sticks because I can just go mine more. It's really not that big a deal. So let's get as many emeralds as we can. Got 12 of them. And let's see how much that does. This is great. That did practically nothing. Did get quite a bit of pickaxes from it though. So I will just shove those in the chest right there. What do I what do I do? I mean, it's almost day, so I might as well just sleep to get rid of the phantoms. I don't think I slept in the last couple days, so let me do that, and we'll move on. Day number 24? 25? And the border has expanded. All right. And they're making love. All right, I think I'm going to go chop more trees down. I need to make more emeralds, and I really need to level this guy up, and I wish I had iron golems to kill, because this is just... Oh, it's just not cutting it. Just so slow. So very slow. So I guess I'll just be chopping the trees down, mate. Oh, there's a lot of trees we can chop now. Everything's kind of here. Don't mind me, just doing some tree chopping so we'll just start planting the trees again i definitely want my house to be made of the cherry wood but this is not about the house this is about the money got a lot of wood so let's just go ahead and boom 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 all right get all the money before he resets he just reset in front of my face that's cool 16 how much can that get me okay that's it's i mean it's progress we're getting somewhere but it's it's not looking too good i think we have to do that a couple more times and then we should be good Hopefully, the next trade is a lot easier to do. But if not, then I guess we're kind of out of luck. Do you want to chop some trees for me, sir? No? Then get out of here. I think these cherry trees are huge. We can get all the wood in the world. I just wish I had a better axe. The stone is not cutting it right now. I feel like a peasant. Sorry, I'm getting kind of locked in on, on all of these trees. Oh, and um, if you're playing Fortnite this week, or you schmizzle in the Fortnite item shop, it won't work, but that'd be pretty cool if it did. Oh, and we can access this house too. Is there anything in here? There's a stone cutter. That might be useful, sort of, maybe. I'll use this axe till it's gone. Oh, I can't leave the rest of the tree up, right? I gotta break it with my fist, like the good old fashioned Minecraft way. We got quite a bit of wood and I'm gonna go use it all. I'm gonna waste it all. Let's go into a good cause. All right, what can I do with 20 emeralds? That's, I'm gonna need about like 25 more that's cool all right i mean it's not bad but it's not good that's not even close to being good it's garbage wait i still have eight emeralds what oh okay we need like eight more it makes my heart feel a lot better let me just do the farming real quick get some more emeralds but i think if we get another bad trade we're kind of kind of done for but next trade should be either the diamond hoe or iron tools and those don't cost too many emeralds problem is those i could very well not get an axe from the toolsmith at these weaponsmith thank you for your money and thank you for your money sir six emeralds is that gonna be enough one two three or I can only do four. I guess I'll wait. I think six is enough, though. That's exciting. I guess I'll be... And the border has expanded. The border did nothing for me today. The border is slowly not becoming my concern. It's just everything else. I need tools so I can make this border look better. Our main focus is all the tools, because we get better and faster tools, and we can do so much more quicker. Have you reset? Can you reset, please? I need both of y'all to reset. I guess I, I guess I will wait. I will wait for you guys to reset. Oh. They just reset it. Let's go. Wait, so does the does the two do it? Boom. Boom. It did. All right. Let me go ahead and stock up on some more emeralds though. 15. What has he got for me? He's got the hoe, which is good. Efficiency two iron shovel is not bad. But look at this. He's gonna get leveled up so fast. I think I can only buy three though. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, I'll probably just wait till he resets because that'll be so worth it. But now I can get rid of all of these crappy hoes. Now I have some diamond ones. Whatever that means. No. No. Um, okay. Let me figure this out, I guess. I'll honestly just take who's ever next. Doesn't even have to be the farmer. He can just stay in there. I'll just level up another guy. Get in there. Get in there. All right. Boom. Can I break it? Please, 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 please. There we go. All right. Problem solved. I just don't have the other farmer, but I can't even, he can't even reset his trade. That's unfortunate. All right. Not that big a deal. Has he reset his thing? Let us find out. He has one, two, three. Three, we just need him to reset it one more time, and we are golden. He reset to, I might as well just snag more of those emeralds. Boom, 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 
There we go. 25 emeralds. Not bad. Power 2 and breaking 2. Bow. That's pretty good. I could go ahead and level him up, but I don't think it's worth it. I'll just wait. For now, I'll just be stocking up my carrots and potatoes. And then I'll make some villagers for him. 29 emeralds. Not too shabby. What am I looking for? I'm looking for that right there. Let's see if this will work right here. Oh. There he is. I think he can work. If not, then whatever. I don't know why I didn't just let him come out. He's got his trade back though, so might as well give me all them emeralds, brother. I could get myself some diamond armor, but I really want to level up the toolsmith first. See what he's got. Because I know next he'll have an axe or a pickaxe. I think I'll have an axe next because pickaxe lasts. I'm waiting for him to reset his trades. I'm going to go and pick all this dirt and then see what I can do with expanding the base and whatnot. I'm honestly so excited for this thing to come full circle. I think it's going to look great. One thing I'm really looking forward to is breaking these things down. Just not trying to waste my time doing it with stone tools. It's not worth. But hopefully his trade is different. Nope. No. Also would make I would make an iron farm, but I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna work with all the other villagers being everywhere. I think tomorrow, day number 26, is the day we finally get diamond tools. You know the fact that there's an iron shovel that's already enchanted in this thing leads me to believe there's not gonna be one later, unless this next one is a shovel and an axe and then the master the pickaxe, which would be the perfect villager. Even though on the weaponsmith, we'll still get an axe because an axe is technically a a weapon so i will patiently wait for them to do something and they did it and it's two now but only need two and then we can see what a glorious thing he has for me let's find out a diamond for an emerald we do have an axe we could probably keep buying these because it's cheaper than just buying the axe but we will buy an axe our first official diamond tool it's going to be fantastic and it's got efficiency too which is huge i don't think it's worth doing another axe so i'll just leave it like that i'll go chop some more trees down just to make some more of that money oh and all these are already grown nice see how fast it's so great. One thing I realized is that we don't have is sugar cane. Um, and that might be a problem later on. Just because when we try to make books. I'm sure we'll find some at some point. I think a wandering trader can have some. If he ever shows up again. I don't know. I killed his llamas and he probably got upset. See, now that took literally two minutes and I'm almost already done. Now I'm not wasting my time. It's just so much better. Well, the new Call of Duty came out today too, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm a pretty big gamer overall, not just Minecraft. And so I don't know if I should get it yet or not. I got the last one. I'm a big camo grinder, so I had ended up getting Orion camo in like the first month. I don't want to do that. I want to play Minecraft for you guys, <laughs> so I just don't know if I should get it. Oh, there's a cat. We had gotten all the wood out here. I don't think we need to stick around to get any more saplings. We got over two stacks, which is way more than enough. I guess I'll go and start planting them back. Because we will need them for our house. And we're going back down to see what we can do with the trades. What up? Three now. Okay. One, two three also do this one two three and now it's ever so closer are you excited for christmas i'm so excited for christmas christmas is great not even just the holiday itself but the atmosphere of everything the weather outside the hot chocolate box seeing christmas lights everything like that is just fantastic and right, i hope that we do end up having a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel because i do not have to level up another one of these guys it just takes forever and i would make this an automatic crop farm but we don't have any iron and i do need to tear down this which obviously when i get the pickaxe i'll start working on more because i think i'm going to i'm gonna work on the top first and then i'll work on the bottom like this is gonna look really cool and all but i need a base up there too with everything and like i understand i'm really only using villagers right now but i can't just keep doing that but i think it's time to take a quick little nap <coughs> the boulder has expanded again refresh your trades that is the day i need it i need it bad okay please tell me you've reset you have Let's go. Seven. That's absurd. Um, let's go ahead and do this two more times. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let him cook. I'll let him simmer down. And then I'm going to go back and check what he has. I'm going to throw these out. I don't need them. So should I let him cook? I think I should. We're going to get ready for the grand reveal too. I said let him cook now. I said let him cook. All right. Now that he's cooked it up. <gasps> it's just a pickaxe. And I can tell it's garbage because it's only 13 emeralds. What do we got? Efficiency one. Okay. It's a diamond pickaxe with efficiency. It's a diamond pickaxe with efficiency. I will take that. It's better than what I have. So I guess I can't complain. It's okay. I'll have to make another villager anyways. So not that big a deal, I guess. All right. Now we got 27. So let's snag the pickaxe. Keep the iron one. Actually, you know what? We don't need the iron one. Bye bye. I'm, I'm so rich. I'm throwing out iron tools. Let's go. Boom. Now we just need some diamond armor. Did we get any already? Nope. We need a couple of more emeralds. So has this guy reset his trade? Yes, he has. Okay, all the potatoes are in the shadow realm. Uh oh. <gasps> Diamond chest plate. Let's go. Let's go. Huge. Now I can I can literally just 
toss that in the trash. Garbage. It's garbage. Goodbye. All right, so now that we're all dripped out, um, now that we're all dripped out, let us go up to the top and kind of just mow everything down. We've got the drip. We've got the sauce. Let me just smoke all of this down. Flatten it all out. Now, I think the only thing stopping us from going to the nether is having lava, because I don't think we've had lava down there, but I also haven't been down there in a while, so we'll have to go check it out. Now, in all honesty, I would rather have full diamond everything before I go to the nether, and that'd be cool if we could end up fighting the ender dragon, but I have a feeling that's not a possibility. And boom, it's gone. And that was pretty fast. Now I got a bigger house, and all these trees are about to grow back. I don't think I'm going to grow them again over there so obviously i want to build my base i'm thinking a little circle you know like a big old like circle little hub and then i'll have different pathways expanding and stuff because i mean this little lip right here i'm not gonna mow down all this i'll just flatten this up here i don't know we'll we'll get it figured out we'll be we'll be gaming i think the wood sound is gonna be forever in my brain heard it maybe a thousand times in the last hour i mean i chose to do this so i guess it's on me hmm this took a lot longer than i expected but it is done and we don't have to do it again except we have to do it again twice okay at least these houses aren't as big all right one more to go but i need to drop off my stuff in a chest because that was quite a bit all right and we're off again one more time oh what are you doing in here sir and it's done and it's done but i think i need to clear up i don't know and i don't even know if there's anything else in the village there's horses oh my goodness wait Another sheep? What are you doing out? I actually don't really mind if you're out, but how did you get here? You just spawn? I need some cows to spawn or some something else to spawn than sheep. I mean, they're cool and all, but do I need them? Not really. Let me just um, collect some more of this. Collect some more of these trades. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. And we have 20 emeralds, which is enough to buy some pants. Actually, buy the helmet because the helmet has protection on it. And boom. Look at how look at how dripped out we are. We're just we're so dripped out. We're dripped out to the max. That was so cringy. I'm I'm actually not sorry. I don't care. And uh I might have eaten my words. The border just expanded, but we do have another house to break. Do I need to? Do I oh I can get this though. Do I really need to break this house right now? I think it can stay over there. I think it's good for now. Screw it. I don't want to do it later. So I'm gonna do it now. I've already done so many. Boom. And we just need the glass right here. And that was it. Got nine emeralds, mate. Nine emeralds. Can't do nothing with that. It's gonna look so much better in a couple of days. Maybe not a couple, but in a while. Just gotta give it some time. But now I gotta spend the rest of the day chopping all these trees down. I'm so excited. I mean, I was the one who planted them, and I will need them for my house. But, you know, this is the type of off-camera mining they're talking about. They're not talking about diamonds. They're talking about all the wood that they have to chop. Because do you think I'm enjoying myself doing this? No. I'm enjoying the video, and I hope you are too. So if you are, hit that subscribe button. I'm sorry. Shameless plug. I'm sorry. Seriously, though, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting more of these 100 Days videos. And hit the like button. Maybe uh, it helps a little bit, so that'd be pretty, pretty sick. And every like equals every... It broke! No! I wanted to save that, but I did get a buttload of wood. Look at all that. I'm gonna have plenty of wood to build my house. Why, well, thank you, sir. And grab these nine out of here, and quickly collect another axe. I think I'm slowly losing my mind. I'll be okay. Nothing I can't handle. Oh, our crops are kind of growing. Let me, let me start munching on these. What am I saying? I'm just saying words now. Leave a like when YouTuber says words. Leave a like when you like when YouTuber says words. As we finish farming all these lovely crops, the border has expanded. Now we have the new axe. Let's go finish that tree up top. And we will chop this down. And then we'll start building, I think. What I want to do is I want to do a big old circle kind of thing. The circle is going to cover most of the top of this. So I think I'll have to expand a lot out here. Let me go ahead and make a stack of wood logs. And... I'm just going to do it on top of the grass. So let's see how we're going to do this. So let's think about this really quick. Let's start. It's not going to be super big. The middle one's not going to be super big because there's going to be a bunch of pathways to different stuff. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. I don't know. All right, while we think about that, we'll chop this tree down that just decided to grow. And I got all this room over here to work with, but I'm pretty sure... I think we should start over this way. Start right here, and we'll go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
31. We'll go 31 blocks. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is the middle right here. That's the basis of the outline. And then we can continue from there. And believe it or not, I'm still going to make some slabs because I'm not going to be running out of this anytime soon. All right. So if I pull out me trusty circle calculator or circle maker or whatever you want to call it. So if we do 30, oh, not 531, 31. We have this going right here. All right, so it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, boom. That's gonna be the circle right there. Let's go and fill that in. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Nice and clean, half circle or quarter circle. And we're done. We still gotta do the outline of it, but other than that, we are good. And boom, here we go. We got our first platform done. So like I said, what I'm thinking is this will be where the house is at. Maybe this way will be our iron farm just because it's away from our villager breeder, which is probably like right about under here. And then we'll obviously have the pathway going over here all the way down to kind of wrap around. We're going to have a staircase going down under here and then boom, we're going to do that. And then we're going to have the path run up through here. We're going to level this out more, have some things up here as well. We need a storage area and a couple other places, but yeah, we've got a lot to do and it's only day number 29 so we have quite a bit of time so with our house i know we're gonna do cherry logs obviously i really like just the look of this they look good stripped but i think they look better like that just because they do have that pinkish texture but it's still a darker type because if they're stripped they'll look more like the plank obviously hmm i built a circle so how am i supposed to build a rectangular house that's the problem is i have an image but then i just brain doesn't brain i can't do it or am i even gonna build a house right here i think i built a house up there in that corner i think this is just going to be something else what it's going to be i have no idea but it'll be the hub of all things so i guess yeah up here is just a good spot got a lot of clearing out to do but wait can i do it with water i can there we go huge all right do i chop this down to one or do i leave it at two i know i chopped this down to two and the border has expanded again not that we'll do anything with that for a couple days but because it's still nice to know that it happened yeah i think this will match up perfectly too i think it actually does what the heck one two three four Four, five, six, seven. No, it doesn't match up perfectly, but it sort of matches up. I don't know. I think it'll end up looking good. And I can tear all that dirt down as well. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, perfect. See, I mean, this part will look good right here. I don't know about that part, though. Maybe that's just how it is. Because I have trees right here around this whole entire thing. But I guess right here, it'll just be the two. There'll be a path coming from down here over there to my house. And then there's be storage. Over there's going to be the iron farm. I don't know what else to do back there. Obviously, I want to continue my little underground thing. And I'll see how that goes. But I need to extend a little further out. I think a couple more days would do it. So we can get down here and then block off all the other sections. But yeah, a couple more days and we can actually finish this whole entire thing. It's kind of nice. But for now, I guess we'll focus on building my house. Which I'm not a master builder by any means. I'm also very indecisive when it comes to building. So I think I'm going to put the first post right here. One, two, three, four. Boom. So the double door will be right there. Yeah, that works. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. I think that'll work. We'll get all these trees out of the way. And we'll be right here as well. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh. Actually, that's a no no. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. We'll go one more out like this. So that'll be even. I know, because I know that's not even. Do I do one? I think I. Yeah, I'll keep it like that. That'll be good. We're going to do two, three, four. Okay. And I think I go one higher because I want to do windows that are too wide. One higher like that. Then I can go across. Does that work? Yeah. That, okay. Yeah, that's that's right. My brain is just fried from chopping trees for an hour. I did what had to be done. All right. Hopefully this looks good. That actually kind of looks a little goofy, but... Um, I'm not really too worried about it. We should be okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't built a house in forever. I literally built, I, I literally rebuilt an ancient city and that was it. Like that's my house in my hardcore world. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's pretty cool. After this one, of course, but then hit him with some cherry doors. Boom. And some cobblestone as well. Do we do cobblestone? Do we do stone bricks? I think we do cobblestone. I think it'll just look better. Um, wait, that's wrong. That's wrong. It's supposed to be inside of it to give it some more texture. 
like this. That's what's up with over here too. That's why it's a two wide. There we go. Boom. That might look goofy. Um, can I, ooh, what if I do that? Homie's back. What up? Where you at? Where you at? Just trying to talk to you, man. Scient sugar cane. Boom. Just what I was talking about. Let's go ahead and go grab some of that right there. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gaming. I don't really need any of those flowers either, so I will just gladly take four things of sugar cane. Nice. And I'll kill your llamas. Sorry, pal. Bye-bye. Yeah, that might be a little goofy. Do I leave that? I think I go down on this left side. Does that look good? I think it does, actually. I guess we just have to wait and see. Mm, this front window will be right here. I'm going to make it bigger. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Get some trap doors and get a little thing down here. Hold on. Let me figure that out. Oh, phantoms. Hornor, Hornor, I gotta go sleep. I didn't even realize I hadn't slept in that long. Me, 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 me. All right, that's <laughs> last time I'll do that. Go check up on the um, the border over here, how far it went. Okay, we're getting somewhere. There's a zombie down there now, but... Oh, and he's dying. Unfortunate. But it's getting pretty complete over there, too. We're almost able to completely cover the top. and We'll create walls and stuff. I don't know exactly what we're going to put down there. It might just be decoration and whatnot. I think it'll look all pretty nice. I think I want smooth stone. Oh, do I make all this to smooth stone? Hold on, hold on. I think that might be the play. Let me go and get some more cobblestone and whatnot. See what's good with the gamers. Let's go and we'll make a stack of them. We got enough. I think smooth stone on the bottom would look good. I don't know about the top. Make these into slabs. Okay, yeah, that does look a lot better. Do I have to smelt it again, or do I do this? That's br stone bricks, obviously. Um, I definitely have to smelt it again. Let me just go ahead and do that. Start chopping all of this up. Mm, yeah, I think that floor looks pretty nice. Keep going with that. Boom, boom. We're doing that so we can work on all of this. I think I mixed this up, though. So it's one, two, three... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Boom. So we'll do a window right here as well. Boom, 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 boom. It'll be three. This will be four. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Does that look good on the outside? Yes, it does. It looks fantastic. I think we'll try something out. Go and make some cobblestone stairs and hit him with the want, want. That looks dumb. Let's hit him with the double want, want. Okay. Are we cooking? Are we cooking right now or what? Let me cook. Boom, boom. Please tell me this looks good. Let's see. That looks garbage that looks terrible i guess I've, i don't know i thought that was gonna be good i forgot the outside was a little different this looks any better probably not but it's worth a shot yeah we could we could do something with that we could deck this out a little bit all right i like it and the inside doesn't look too bad just kind of just shoved against the wall this is right here is um that'll be fine it'll be all right we'll be hitting more slabs just because so i think what i want to do is i want to have an outline because normally this looks good but i'm not a gamer so i don't know there we go that looks dumb right there let me go ahead and not do that i think just the edges right there nice let's go there we go yeah i think that was good but i do need some more stairs and then we will have the staircase probably somewhere like right here nice okay i gotta decide what i want to do up here what you do is you put these on all of the wood right there like supports there we go and then boom and then we just build up off of that so if you allow me to go inside of here and do the one two three four one, two, three, four. This thing up here is going to be a little balcony. World border has expanded, but my house is expanding as well. What the plan is, I'm still going to need more stone blocks, but I got to do the top half. And I'm going to scope out this real quick. We'll be using the cobblestone on this side. Wait, what am I? Wait, wait, wait. Does that look dumb or is that... Because that's not how I did it before. It looks very stupid. What am I doing? Let me build this in really quick. Because this part is going to be like a little balcony. So if we go ahead and place some pillars. I think like right about. What am I doing? My brain is not working right now. I'm actually very confused. Probably should plant some more trees while I'm doing this. I know I'm going to be able to chop some of those down. But I'm like sort of running out of wood. I have enough. But I still could probably use more. Let me grab a stack of these and go stop planting them. I think that might look a little too tall for the second one yeah i think i'm gonna make it one block shorter yeah i think four on the top is plenty um does that look good right there um yeah it'll all come full circle especially once i have the um the roof on it right so we almost got the second floor kind of done yeah i think that looks better then i do the same thing on top up there yeah i just i think that'll look good once there's a whole entire roof on top that's the only problem there's no 
The, the only problem is there's no roof yet, but once the roof is placed, I think it'll look a lot better. And if not, then I just will tear down again. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this little part right here. I might do a singular roof on it. Maybe not. Maybe I just do this up to five. And so it's at the same height as all the other ones. And I'll just connect them. Boom. There we go. I think I'll just hit him with the, the regular. The regular. So it's like that, but... What does that do for me? Is that good? And then I do... Nope. That looks kind of dumb. That looks pretty dumb too. I think I just keep building and see where it takes me. Because I don't know how to do the, the top of that right there. Let me just fill in the rest of the walls and stuff. Maybe to look better. That doesn't look bad. Let me make a couple of trapdoors. See if I can do something with that. Boom. I, I like that. That actually looks pretty good. The border has expanded. Let's check if it's still touching over here. It's getting so close. I think we're about three days off from it touching over there. And hopefully by the three day mark, we'll be done with our house. I, it won't take us three more days, surely, right? We might run out of materials, but other than that, I think we should be fine. There just won't be very big windows up here. Do it again right here. Let's do the same thing with the trapdoors on the other side as well. Then we'll hit them with a boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. There we go. And let's we'll see if those look good over there. And that does look good. I like the cross pattern right there too. I think this will just be open right here. I'll just do that. That'll be fine. I'll do the roof later. But for now, I guess we'll do this. After all, it is a balcony. It'd look better if it had slabs right there. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yep. This is just like that. There we go. This is the balcony as well. Not sure what this is, but it looks good on the outside. So it's fine. I think that looks pretty good. All right. The house is, I mean, the outside's complete. Except for the roof, obviously, and the windows. We'll go get some glass in a second. But we can turn these into pink dye right yes we can Ooh, actually instead of that let's do some white i think white would add pretty well to this we'll do some white glass actually while all this stuff is gonna cook i'm gonna go and grab some of that sand so i can cook it as well there's also these nice flowers down here let's go some cool decoration but i will snag some of this sand 56 should be plenty of sand and we just ride the water up some good stuff and we got these nice flowers as well that look nice with all the pretty pink stuff and look at all the trees that have grown it just looks so good. I'm, I'm glad they added the cherry trees. Just all that sand in there. I'll just go get some bone meal. I should have a lot of bone meal, actually. Where's the bones at? There they are. Let's go. That is huge. Huge mungus. I, I like how I built this and I didn't even do anything with it. All right. And then we hit him with the quick old bone meal to the white dye to the boom. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that looks so much better. And I will be making some more trap doors for all of the outsides with the windows and stuff. So let me go around and do those. Oh, it was really quick. There we go. Nice. And once we get a librarian, we can get infinite lanterns. It'd be pretty nice because lanterns look pretty cool all the time. The ceiling is officially done. Kind of looks a little goofy like that, but that's eh, whatever. Not that big a deal. All right. The outside has been completed. And now I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the classic roof that you always do. I think the front side, like it'll, it'll be like this right here. And then the sides will be, I don't, <laughs> that didn't explain it very well. This will be like the ramp part. And then the point will be right here if that makes any sense i don't know so i've used quite a bit of the cobblestone on the outside so the middle cannot be cobblestone maybe the outside is and the middle is the cherry wood i think that would probably look the best so i think that's exactly what i'll do so for that i'm gonna need more cobblestone and i will need that stone cutter so i'm not burning cobblestone like crazy but i guess i'll take a quick nap i haven't gone to bed in like a couple days so reset the phantoms and the border has expanded oh and while we did all that stuff our crops are fully grown let me go and harvest all of those it's gonna be really nice Let's mow these down. That is a lot of potatoes. Wow. On to the carrots. And all those are planted. And that is quite a bit of carrots as well. What we'll be doing is we'll be trading these bad boys in. He's still over here somewhere. Can I, can I touch him? Boom. There we go. Meet all of your emeralds, sir. He's just taking all of them. Okay. 27 emeralds from all those potatoes. That's crazy. I will be giving this guy all of my carrots so I can level him up. So I can get some golden carrots. Give me everything you got. What else can I trade to you to level you up? That levels you up quite a bit. What about that? Sure. Boom. All right. Right, what else you got? Suspicious stew. So I guess we'll get one, two, three, four of those, and then one, two, and three of these. And now I can get golden carrots. There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. Right, now let's eat some of the suspicious stew, shall we? What does it do? Let's see what this one does. Oh, jump boost. Wow, okay. What is it? What about this one? That did nothing but we did get more emeralds so we can get our boots and our pants <gasps> and now we're fully kitted out in diamond armor let's go and we're rich all right i guess now it's back to the project at hand let's go let us commence forth how do i start this because i know what i want so i do this i go out one more too just to be over that so two out boom all right now what we'll go is we'll do this pattern is boom 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 wait is that is that right is that gonna 
gonna be too tall. Let's test it on this side too. Let me do the same thing. Yeah, I like that one better. Okay, so go ahead and finish that on both sides. That should look pretty nice. Does that look nice or does it look goofy? I think we get to that and we just start going up higher. Hold on, let's figure this out. All right, how does that look right there? Bro, what? Yeah, I think it'll look fine. I just need to fix the top section right there. Yeah, that'll look fine. And if it doesn't, I'll make it look fine. So we should be all good. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. And we'll set this right here. And then that's good. Now we just got to fill it all in. And how we do that is by using the crafting table and just crafting a whole bunch of stairs. Same with a whole bunch of planks. We'll still need a bunch of those. So it's going to be like this. And a new day has started and the border has expanded once again. I'm still doing the roof. And with that, that was the final touch to the roof. And now we can go down. Now let's see what it looks like. Okay. Okay, that actually looks really good. I know once it's filled in, it'll look a lot better. I think I want to do like a circle kind of window thing up there and then we're good. All right, now time to be a little more creative. All right, so I think I'm going to do that probably right here. I'll give it some depth and then I'll do it right here. I think we'll start with this back side first. I think I do a bunch of cherry wood stuff. All right, there is the back one. Let's see how it looks from the other side. I think you could use some cobblestone around it, but I think it looks all right. And this one will be a giant circle and I'm going to do the same thing. Thing. All right, what we have to work with right here is give it one more side over here. Probably like that. One more side right here. See how to do a five circle on our circle generator. Does that look good or does that look kind of dumb? I don't know. Let's find out. I am stuck in here. Hold on. I think I am going to make it a little bigger. Yeah, I'm going to make this a little, little wider. That's a no-no. I might be taking a, taking a nap ski real quick. That's that's actually the sign to, to go to sleep now. I'm not getting struck by lightning. I'm not dying like that. I don't think it can strike outside of where I'm at. So I will be gladly taking a nap. You probably can't hear me right now because the lightning is so loud. But it's gone. So we're good. I think that's the best it's going to get. I mean, it is a circle in Minecraft. So boom. Does this look good on the outside? Let's find out. That's going to work. I'm going to, that's going to have to do. All right. How does that look now? I think that looks just fine. Oh, and this other house is finally in the full zone. That's cool. Want oh, another bed? I can make a pink bed this time. Go with my pink house. But I can go ahead and grab a petal and make pink dye and make a pink bed. Yay. We have it for our new house. And I guess it did take me a couple more days to completely finish this, but but I'm very pleased with how it turned out. It looks very nice. I need to add a bunch of flowers and pathways all the way leading up to it. But for now, it will be just fine. And I can take my first night's rest in my new house. And a new day started and the border has expanded once again. I don't know how many times I've said that this video, but I mean, it keeps happening. So I mean, the view isn't very nice, but maybe that'll change. Pretty nice. I like this little balcony area. Probably could have done more fancy stuff like that on the sides, but you're not really seeing that part. So it doesn't really matter. For now, I'll put a bunch of torches on the outside. I'm going to do some lanterns when we get them. All right. Well, the border expanded quite a bit, so I'm pretty sure we can, we can full Fully, or we were one block away from fully being able to cover this entire place. But I might as well start now, right? And I can start on the staircase too. I gotta work on all. Okay, I have the house done. Have this platform done. Now it is time to start working on the little bottom. I'm gonna do something with this later on, but for now, this is just how it's gonna be. Can't stop looking at the house. I just think it looks so good. Yeah, down here's got a little spruce enough to do. All right, let me grab every single piece of dirt that I have and let's go to town. Like, this whole thing's gonna be a giant circle. I mean, obviously, but it's going to go down. I'm going to decorate it and whatnot. It's going to all be a part of the downstairs. I'll dig out all the dirt and whatnot. But for now, let me go ahead and finish all this. Finish the big old cave that we're looking to build. Right, let me build the boundaries for it because I know this will be part of the, the staircase coming up. So... All right, I just got to fill all this in. Another wandering trader. What do you have? Jungle sapling. I actually don't like jungle, so we don't really need that. Not a big deal. Oh, all right. So the tunnel is kind of complete. There's still a bunch of side parts that we need to do. And obviously we need to carve out a bunch of the stuff down in the tunnel or the cave in general. Oh, I also didn't take into account all of the stuff over here that we need to do. Because like I said, I still don't know exactly how we're going to do it, but it's going to be like a circle right here. So I might as well just start expanding all that as well as spawn proofing up here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do all this stuff. 
Boom. There we go. That whole entire thing is covered up. There's just a little circle right there. We're going to obviously fix that. And I think once it reaches there, we'll probably just close that off or we'll close it off from the staircase. So the staircase just goes down to the left and this will be just closed off. I'm not sure yet, but we're culminating ideas in our brain and our brain is so huge that there's just so many thoughts in there. All right. Now let's see what this looks like downstairs. I'm also going to sleep really quick. Flip over to the day. Expand the border a little bit. All right. I probably should bring a bow. Do I have enough string for a bow? Yep, I do. Actually, I might buy this bow that the Fletcher has. Power 2 and Breaking 2. Yeah, let me go ahead and get some stuff for that. I think the quickest way would be with some sticks. Let the trading spree begin. There we go. Just enough. Give me the bow. And before I head off, let me make some more torches. Light up as much as we can. Bring a bunch of cobblestone too to block some of the sections off. It won't look pretty yet, but we will make it pretty when we need to. That's not the mission at hand right now. Our mission is to to spawn proof and protect protecting what i don't know spawn proof what uh the dark stuff and things like that this guy right here will be spawn proof and everywhere mates there's a lot of terraforming we need to do with this i think that should be all of it nothing else can spawn now i guess the question is is how do we terraform down here what do we all got to do obviously this part needs to be cut out i want it to be built up this plane right here all the way across maybe a little lower yeah, i think right there is fine and then this will be the staircase down so yeah i think this will be like the the plane along all the whole thing so we need to terraform everything above and below but we also need to get more food i didn't even think about that and just so happens to be all of our crops are grown so let's go ahead and farm those out and after this we're gonna be eating good eating all those golden carrots nothing y'all haven't seen before we're gonna go ahead and turn all these in and then we will come to this guy and Boom. 30 gold carrots. It's huge. Best food in the game right here. I'm going to need a lot more shovels. So let's go ahead and get some of those going. Wish it was diamond, but I'll take what I can get. I guess we'll start with the circle. The whole entire circle. I'll start this way. So I want everything from underneath the circle dug out. I think I'm going to need a little more than a couple of shovels. Yeah, I'm going to need a diamond shovel. ASAPP. Hmm. I'm definitely going to want to get a diamond shovel for all this. And there we go. It's all dug out, except for right here and right here. Hold on. Give me give me a second. All right. Well, this whole entire thing's dug out. I'm not going to do any building until I dig out everything. So I might be digging for a while. I also need to do another toolsmith. Hopefully I get a better pickaxe and I need a shovel. Like 250 durability versus 1500 is quite a difference. And it won't be that much more expensive. So I mean, it's practically, I'm just practically wasting my time right now. So I will get that fixed as soon as possible but yeah i guess i should end off the day with a good night's rest all right so i think today i'm gonna get another tool smith because i need a diamond shovel so let me grab two bits of iron and some wood if i have any left over no i don't let me go get some i'm just gonna take one from this tree thank you sir oh bam smithing table let's go let's get one of these bad boys out of the hole well hello sir would you like to work actually i'm going to make a prison for you real quick and i don't shy away from calling it a prison you were in there for eternity he's gonna go work surely right <sighs> he's a natural there we go there we go pal thank you sir but i know we're gonna run into the same problem we had earlier let's leveling him up let me just lock him in really quick boom thank you sir appreciate your service and um where did all my emeralds go i guess i'm gonna need to go get some more trees chopped down i can keep trading emeralds to this guy i think that's gonna be plenty of wood or plenty of sticks i guess let me craft all of these really quick do you think that's gonna be enough sticks guys i don't know stop resetting your trade let me trade them quick boom all right, it's gonna be the iron and the bell, but we can deal with that. Not a big deal whatsoever. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm trained for. And he reset already. Let's go. I need you to reset now, because now I have too many hoes. I'm gonna go chop this house down while I'm waiting for those trades. And I can't start mining stuff out with my pickaxe instead of my shovel. I just know I need it for when I do all the dirt, because there's a lot of it. All right, I've come to steal your money. Mm, okay, apparently not. And apparently not for you. All right, let me go to sleep. And then your trades will be back in the morning and the border will be expanded i guess i can't take the extra wood that i got all right now you just gotta reset your trades mate it will be all good <gasps> there we go thank you thank you do i have another stick somewhere no i don't 
Okay. Let's see how much I can level up this guy then. Not enough. That's for sure. Okay. So I don't really know how to go about this. I also don't have a shovel yet, but I know for a fact that I need to carve out most of this because I really just need the outline of it. Another wandering trader. What does he have? I think he's kind of garbage. He's garbage. Let me just get some more sticks then. I'm gonna make money as quickly as possible. Right. That's enough wood chopping for now. That should be enough to level him up. I would, I would hope so at least. And he's out of traits, but I can level this guy up for sure. Do that. Actually, I lied. I'm a liar. I need what? Maybe like four more or something like that. He just reset again. Three? Does that, does that work? I need like two more. Okay. I'm very tempted to trade my iron, but it's very valuable and I don't want to use it for that. I think if I farm all these potatoes and carrots, I'll have enough. Right now, I'm kind of just doing a bunch of chores, but 10 more emeralds and oh, where is he at? Oh, he's all the way in the corner. Boom. Give me all your emeralds, pal. You can't really use them because you're just in a hole. I'll gladly take them. Thank you. Thank you. And let's level this guy up. Boom. What is he got? That might not be good for me. All right. I guess it's time for bed and I will finish with the trades. I think I'm just wasting days at this point. Does he want to reset his trade anytime soon? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's five. Are you kidding me? Whatever. Give it to me. I just need to do it one more time. I guess what I can do is I can start locking off all the caves or that does not take any mining or anything like that. And I can snag this emerald really quick and kill this skeleton who's trying to kill me do some proofing really quick or whatever you want to call it we could say hello to our chicken friend hello chicken sorry that you've been stuck there for eternity but it is what needed to be done and there is another emerald up here that's pretty cool there we go now we got every single cave blocked off which is nice we don't have to worry about any stray monsters now but i know you can see these parts right here these we're gonna have to chop off and then we're gonna have to build the entire like ground like i said i think i want it off of this right here this block or most of it at least so i had to build it off of that and all this kind of stuff so we will get it figured out i forgot to get more trade stuff that's all me and the sad truth is all this work is just going to be gone in an instant just to level up this guy which kind of sucks but it needs to be done so it must be done all right got enough wood let's do the same thing over and over again trade him all these sticks and then go to this guy at least the shovels for five so i can only have to do two i might as well just keep those just because i might need them what does he have for me an axe but it has fortune and efficiency three that's a good axe but that's not what i need because the next one's going to be a pickaxe <sighs> Uh, that's not what I'm doing this for. I already have a pickaxe. Well, I guess I'll go to bed and start it back up tomorrow. I think I'm going to continue digging this whole thing out. Let me, I'm going to go over and kind of set the outline for this. I want it to be just this along here, but I need some dirt. I'll just keep doing this until it looks nice or whatever. There we go. There is the outline of that. Um, now I just got to, I don't fill in, but I do the top at least. So I kind of know where I'm digging out. Boom. All right, let me light that up. Thank you, thank you. And I'll just kind of continue the, the trend over here. Well, that works. And so now that's done. I think we get the trades, of course. And then we hit them with the... Oh, it's six now. Okay. But now let's get all of our dirts once more and start filling out the bottom of this. Because if I want it to be down to here, I'm going to do it everywhere. Just so it looks all nice and neat. So I know this probably won't stay like this, but it'll just be the base of everything. We're out of dirt, but we will... Get a lot more because we have to clear all that out. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll start with this stuff right here. We can throw out all of this now. We don't need none of that. And we can make some more trades too. Hopefully he resets. No, he didn't. What is wrong with him? What are you doing there, sir? Um, if I do remember correctly, these hay bales over here are kind of exposed. So, we can get those and trade them for emeralds. And then I lied. That's tomorrow. Okay. Get to my house. Look at it. It's so big and it's cool. I guess we'll um, go to sleep for the rest of the night. Let our villagers be set. The border just expanded, so we can go back over and get those hay bales. Three hay bales, which turns into 27 wheat. And that turns into one trade, so we're one emerald richer now. Exciting stuff. All right, so let me go and carve out this, this section up here. Go get a good idea of what I need to do. Okay, boom, right here. And we'll just do this along the whole entire edge. Let's just make it so much easier to dig it out and know what we need to dig out. Yeah, and all of the other side i won't do this i'll just kind of carve it out into whatever i want to that'll just make it so much easier and there's that outline done we will be filling the top part back up but now i know where we need to dig out and we will go and do that here in a second this is pretty self-explanatory right and the diamond shovel would make this so much better And this is why diamond shovels are very useful, because I ran out of another one. But I don't have any more emeralds, so we're going to have to mine some of this stuff. Boom. All of these carrots and potatoes are going to be gone in a second. That's fantastic. But I can't complain. For a good cause. 
sort of. And the next day is upon us and the border has expanded. I guess I'll be digging a lot of this out so I can reach him. Give me all of your emeralds as well. 29. All right. What can we do? He still isn't what's up with this guy why doesn't he reset his trade ever i'll do the axe i guess three times boom let me you just stay in there where are you going why would you why would you even do that what is the appeal what are we doing okay there's literally no reason for you to do that i guess you're stuck in there now at least i can find him but whatever whatever i let him be but now i don't have any shovels okay how do i assess this situation i'm about to run out of my oh, i'm about to run out of everything oh it's not going so well for me right now okay it's starting to come together but i have no tools that's some exciting stuff i guess i go back to the drawing board i also have new land not that i'm ever gonna go over there not in the next 20 days at least so i guess i shall chop all the trees down around here make more sticks to make more emeralds to get more tools i'm just so excited all right the wood has been acquired let us go trade all the sticks and then do it again tomorrow boom boom now let's do this i think we go to bed take a little nap and it is a new day and the border has expanded again now whenever he resets his trades we will start going i don't know if it's worth seeing if this guy wherever he is we can find him oh we can do that for two let's go ahead and do that there we go all right so now we can go ahead and see what his next trade is it's a diamond pickaxe with silk touch that uh it's unique but it, i don't need it but that ultimately means we're not getting what we wanted so we'll be grabbing a efficiency one diamond pickaxe there we go and let's get to mining again well we have the outline of that done now we just need to do the same thing we did before start breaking stuff which is so fun and exciting ha ha, ha. funny ha ha great and get some more dirt because i have more stuff to fill out i guess i can go fill in the little patches up top i just want to go take a second and look at my pretty house look at how good it looks it's so cute cute enough of that i'm a man i don't say stuff like that i say man manly things like beers trucks football sports steak really just waiting for the for the trades to come running in i think i hit up with the napski that's what i do you know i think they can stop breeding now honestly i think i have enough villagers so let me block the uh the beds off they can just stay in there not a big deal in case i actually need all those villagers well, i think the move is some sticks again i would rather not have to go chop trees down like i have been the last 10 days i'm also feeling a little mine run huh i haven't done that in a while seeing what it looks like okay that's enough cheat cheat that's enough tree chopping for today hopefully boom all right all these sticks how many emeralds let's find out 22 all right try this one more time oh i found him and he sound up for six okay i gladly take one do i get two uh, no i will get the efficiency of the fortune one axe sometime soon because then i can make more money because of the crops i'll be taking all of your green rocks thank you i don't need anything else from you you're all good but i did get my shovel i was looking for so let me go finish all of this boom there we go now i cleared out everything up in here i'll probably do that side too but not sure how i want to shape that out i will be filling this stuff in but for now i'm gonna leave it just because i'm gonna decorate all this pretty soon I just kind of want to have all this stuff broken down before i do the decorations um i actually might wait my shovel broke and i don't want to buy another one we'll be chilling with this for now i think we're gonna go hit the mine because that sounds pretty fantastic to me and can we trade more no we can't i'm gonna need another chest but guess what i did i used all my wood oh Ooh, speaking of that all the hay bales are definitely in the zone now let's go pick those bad boys up and turn them into wheat boom there we go we should get 45 wheat from that that's at least two trades which is huge but then i forgot to do what i wanted to do so let me go back one two three four four there we go there we go nice nice and we'll go ahead and do this right here this will be our dirt chest all right i think it's nap time again we just need more of these trades to reset and the trade is reset give me your emeralds now boom 44 which is huge we'll kind of just put these in the chest we don't need to use them yet and i think i'm gonna go in the mine now i have enough on my axe to use it as an axe or like a weapon obviously do i have any more arrows i have one right there no i do not i have three okay that'll be enough we'll be good all right we got our food we got our weapon our pickaxe let's go down into the 
the mines. Just kidding. Let me um, get some more coal. Make some more torches just in case. Because I'm really not trying to get smoked while I'm down here. I hope you can understand. Alrighty, that should be enough torches for the first trip. And let's go. Let's see how much it actually expanded. So we haven't been down here in like 15 days or something like that. This is new. Okay. Give me that iron, please. Thank you, thank you. And there's some redstone as well. I don't really need that. It will take more iron because an anvil would be pretty nice. And gold, I guess. You never really know when you might need it. The main problem I'll have is finding my way back. Granted, we're in a very closed space, so I can just dig up and I'll be by my house. But still, do I want to spend time doing that? No. We got any diamonds going on down here? I don't see any. How, are we deep enough? Yeah, we're plenty deep. There is a lot of stuff, though. I don't mind all the iron, because we'll be able to make our anvil finally. Oh, there's skulk. I don't like that. We do have lava. Okay, we will need that. Is there any more of it, or is this it? This isn't, Is this is not enough. Oh, actually, it's perfect, except for the fact we need more and more for an enchantment table. But to go into the nether, this is just fine. Okay, I guess I'll let it flow. All right, I don't hear anything else, so I think this is it. But there we go. We got ice bucket challenge. Ooh, okay. No, there is more. Nice. I guess we'll just go and mine all of it out. Oh, okay. There we go. Successful trip down. And is there anything else that we can find? I already went down there. That's the other thing too. It's going to be kind of hard to gauge where we've been. We still want to roof this cave, but it's really not that big of a deal anymore. Just because of how big it is. It's not super compact. It's not super compact to where there's a bunch of mobs around where we're going to die. So like zombies right there, I can literally run right past them. Oh, there's a big old cave underneath. Wow, this place is actually huge. Hmm. Um, this is a no-no. We're not getting into that. I'm not drowning. I've been there and done that before and it's not fun. And this is what I was talking about. I have no earthly idea where I'm going. Oh, I know this place. I know this place. All right, not that way. I'll keep going this way. Boom, just getting everything iron that we can. No diamonds still, which is upsetting oh, i've been here 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 i don't really want to strip mine for the two diamonds but i have to then so be it can we see any diamonds or anything probably not there is some lava right there though let's check down there in a second let me kill this guy really quick you got a dripstone what the heck are we doing baby zombie nor but what do we got down here i can see that we can be in this cave but we can't see past i mean what am i trying to say what i'm trying to say is this cave is huge wow there's got to be diamonds in there somewhere right or there's not diamonds anywhere in here there's a monster spawner though what the heck what is it the zombie what the heck what are the odds we got um kind of mid stuff but oh golden apple though and a name tag and pumpkin seeds we don't have those that's pretty cool there's literally no diamonds here why why are there no diamonds what happened to all the diamonds but there's a Lime. Give me your balls. Give me your balls. Well, I'm not really. Oh, why are you blowing up? Why are you scaring me like that? To be honest, I'm not really interested in anything else besides diamonds right now. And it looks like we're not going to be finding any of them. So I think I'll be heading up back up to the surface with all of our loot. We did get quite a bit of stuff, though. I mean, let's go grab some more wood. We can get some charcoal so we can cook all of this stuff. That should be enough. And we'll start the iron in this one right here. There we go. And we'll start the gold in this one. And I do want to put my nether portal down. I don't know where yet, though. I guess it wouldn't hurt to mine it back up, but I don't want to do that. Oh, I could get a horse, though. What? Hold on. Let me go get one of these horsies. Which one do I want? Do I want the gray or the brown one? He looked at me. I want him. Does he want to be my friend? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Let's go. Best friends forever. Let's go. Now let's put the horse armor on. I think I'm going to call him Davo's brother. In honor of my horse dave and he can chill in the farm look at him he's just chilling he's just dave's brother go ahead and make our anvil too needed one of those um i'll go boom right there let it flow and i'm pretty sure we got one of these i'm gonna name him dave's dave oh we named him davo's brother boom all right oh and he's already already running off boom there you go davo's brother dave's brother for short i will also be getting a fortune axe really quickly and mining all of the oh where's he at i gotta gamble here a little oh there we go a fortune one axe so i can get more crops so i can make more money so hopefully it just in turn gets me more money all right all right all right let's see what this thing can do boom we got a noticeable amount more than last time so that's good we'll get like an extra couple of emeralds every time there we go that's the same same thing with the carrots so let's go see what we can get out of that there we go 55 we almost got a stack huge there we go nice and let's go ahead and make a flint and steel just so we can go to the nether pretty soon all right where shall we place the portal it's just going to be temporary though i'm just going to put it over here so let's just do one two boom 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 and light it up 
There we go. Put all that in there. And we'll go and check out what we got. Hopefully, we're in a good biome. Hopefully, there's another fortress by. I know we probably can't go to the end, but literally the worst biome in the game. The only biome that I did not want to be in. Okay. Well, well, I think the nether might be a little chalked. We can't really do anything in here, so that's okay. We'll go back. I'll just go ahead and break this too because we literally cannot do anything over there. And I don't want to hear it all the time. There we go. That didn't take too long. But we won't be needing that. But what I think we will do with the 56 iron that we have is we're going to do two things. We're going to go ahead and make an iron farm. And we're going to make a crop farm as well. Because clearly we're struggling on some of our trades. And it'd be a lot better if we didn't have to do any of that at all. We could just go ahead and be fine and just do it whenever. Also, I want to combine these pickaxes really quickly. Get efficiency too. And repair that one nice so let me bring my shears we need six beds and i know the sheep that we will use to get some six beds I'll also start breeding these guys i don't know why i didn't start doing that before and then i will be shearing y'all i finally got the advancement the parrots and the bats by making two animals frick where's the other sheep we have another sheep roaming somewhere over here there he is and he gave me quite a bit of wool okay and look at my house it's just so cute all right i still don't know what we should do with this up here i know our iron farm is gonna be over there somewhere which we could probably start working on that actually and the day started so the border is expanded nice nice i want to set this up over here so i'm gonna go ahead and get some dirt level it out a little bit you know this should not take me that long because i have so many villagers already so it took me the longest last time was all the villagers all right so i think i'll probably start it one block away from the edge right here i'm just gonna build it all up i know it won't go out this far but might as well just terraform the whole place we got bees what or we have a beehive i don't know if there's actually bees in there there's gotta be because there's honey right of course we don't have enough dirt that's very cool and exciting and wonderful and amazing all of our sheeps are fully grown so we get them naked only natural we got enough for five beds too we just need three more wool for one more there is a stack of dirt in this chest so we are all saved let's go ahead and finish this out all right this is all set out i think it's time to build out the entire thing mm, never mind i am changing the i am changing what i'm building i'm still building an iron farm but i'm changing what design i'm using so if this is the center we do one two three four one two three four we do four on every side and then dig this all out down two blocks all right collect all our dirt back and we can go ahead and place that back i'm gonna break all this stuff right here and then in the middle we need a three block wide tunnel 30 blocks down so we'll do that right there and then fill the rest of this out like that and then we go 26 right here and then 27 28 29 30 just dig out a few blocks in front of me just like so so one two three four five there we go and we'll dig out we'll come back with some ladders but gotta go get some other stuff to actually build but actually i think we might we'll just oh we're not gonna do that that's what we're not gonna do just gonna dig up i'm not too worried about using ladders or whatever hopefully this will match up perfectly with our build but if it doesn't then that might suck we might actually use some ladders there we go all right i think that'll work because then we could possibly just build all this around have a little pathway coming up to it have a little house or a little something and then boom let me go get all the necessary resources for it we're gonna need to hold on i'll place a block right here see the thing is we fall right there we're dead so let's not do that boom there we go place that right there and then we can do the water i'm probably going to make a quick infinite source well you can fall in there if you want to pal Bye bye. We need to go get our lava. So we just go and grab one of these right there. Hot topic. Thank you very much. Um, what are you doing, pal? And we're back. Go and go set up the collection system. We might need a zombie as well, which we'll just have to wait another day. Not a big deal. All right. And then what we'll do for the collection is we put a chest right here. Oh, chest right here and a chest right here. Then you do hopper, 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 hopper. Boom, boom, boom. So if I just throw this into here, it's in the chest right now. Boom. All right. And then we get our signs and then we place the lava right here and we're all good to go. Now we just need, obviously, iron golems to spawn. I'll go and place this chest right here too, just, just in case. Now I was told that I do a little, little something, something over here. So I just go boom, boom, boom with the clutch right there the clutch key so seven blocks so one two three 
Wait, so we dig a three by three out this way. So we made the three by three box. Okay, there's the box. So let me go back up. I need three beds, a couple of trap doors, a couple of other things, and then we're gaming. The border has expanded once again, and we are kind of losing some time. Let's um go back down and finish this thing. So I'm supposed to place three beds like boom, boom, boom. Then I place slabs like slabs like this. And then a trap door like this. No, that's wrong. This trap door, boom, right there. I dig out the three like this again. Boom. Then the boat shall sit right here. Boom. Boat right there. But I will need to get a zombie in here. So there we go. That should work right there. Should lead the zombie right into the boat. Ooh, and I need to do this three more times too, huh? Okay, so yeah, let me repeat that three more times, and then I'll get the zombies in the boats whenever, I'll get the villagers in there whenever, I know I have 12 villagers, which is nice. Alright, there we go. Now we just need four zombies, and we need seven more beds, and we got two, okay, so we only need four more beds, hopefully we can get it with this next shear. The moment of truth, only two have their wool back, we only got three pieces, so we got one more bed. Let's go find the sheep that's just out somewhere, Rava just like sitting over here. I think I saw cows, there are cows, what, since when, and there's zombies, so let's, I mean, it'll be good, but we have three of them, so is that gonna like hold us back a little bit? I don't know. Oh wait, I have another boat, I guess you get two of them in a boat, and then get the third one down there, Ooh, my brain is kind of, brain's kind of huge right now, granted I've had my headset on for a while, so it's kind of hurting my brain a little swelled up yeah we get three zombies out of whatever i also realized we're gonna have to kind of proof all this stuff a little bit further just because of the fact that you know there we go thanks for good in the boat sir appreciate you pal all right nice nice break the boat i'm gonna need it back thank you thank you now let's go this way because this is the other one that's complete oh there's oh there's more of them okay we put two of them in the boat get this one down here thank you pal now we got a couple more to do Thank you. Right now for the final one. And you're in the boat. Thank you. I'm going to block all these up just so nothing happens to them. I'm also going to have to come back in here and make sure this is all mob proof. I might just make a bunch of slabs because I got a little, because I got a little cobblestone. Okay. Now we need, I'm pretty sure we just need three more beds and the border has expanded. Yeah. We just need three more beds, which is seven more pieces of wool. The hard part is getting these guys in here. Does it matter if they're locked onto a bed? I have no idea. Because if it does, then I'm going to have to wait till night again. But if it doesn't, then I could start it right now. You think they'd just link to the right one? I guess the plan is to try to get everything, everyone over there today. So we need 12 of them over there. We can't just use boats because the things kind of got to go up. So, boom, 12 composters. All right, let's see how this works. I mean, it should work just fine, but in the event that it doesn't, it's going to be unfortunate. So I guess we will... We'll get that going. He's going to lock onto something. I can already tell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He already wants that. Okay. Come on, buddy. Let's keep getting him up here. Um, I'm going to make more boats so I can just leave him over there. He can go in the boat right there. Hopefully he'll path to it. Yep. There we go. Now we'll do the same thing for 11 more. The last one. I'll go and leave it at this right one right here just because I'll leave it right there. <laughs> And what we'll do is we'll go and, um, we'll go and make a bunch of slabs and go spawn proof all that down there. Surely, um, like nine stacks would be enough. Thought I was done with these. Oh, is it night? Is it night? It better not be night. It's nighttime. I'm taking a quick nap. I'm not trying to have any of these zombies die. Or, what am I saying? I'm really not trying to have any of my villagers die. So, let's go ahead and take a quick nap. Head over to day 56 and finish this iron farm. And get rid of all of these terrible pink petals. I'm so sick and tired of them. Oh, my hand. It hurt. It's so... Oh, my hand. Cramping so bad right now. But we're gaming. We're gaming so hard. Oh, I think I'm done. Now, if they start spawning over here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I didn't even think about that. If they start spawning over here, I'm going to spawn proof it too. But we'll cross that bridge once we get there, all right? So, now, what we can do is we can start putting the villagers in the holes. Put them super close. I can't really move that boat, but I can do this. All right, now you can get out of there and you can get out of there as well. They can get pushed off, right? There we go. You're into there, you're into there, and you're into there. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, and that should work now. I, don't, I really don't know. I also didn't really think about the fact that there are... Oh, I just saw one fall in. Okay, so it is working to some extent. I didn't even realize that there's other caves down there, so I very well could spawn inside of those. So I probably should have gone with one above ground, but let me check if there's one back here. Yep, that's exactly what I was worried about. Hmm, I mean, that's an easy fix for this guy. He, he'll get killed. Sorry about you, pal. But that just means that we will have to spawn-proof this whole entire side. I don't know how we're going to do that. 
that so either of slabs i know it doesn't have to look good because we won't be able to see it really kind of a bummer that you have to but yeah the iron farm is complete i will keep checking for iron golem spawning over here also let me go down and see if the collection system was working correctly i know sometimes you can have trouble with that and build the staircase up to it as well and there they are and we already got 20 iron okay we won't ever afk right there we will just be just doing whatever we're doing because it's in range i'm pretty sure i can still see the barrier so it should just keep going all the time no matter what it should be good and i think i'm good to take a little nap and the boulder has expanded on day number 57 okay so i think this day we're gonna do a lot of mixing it up with the crops probably start out with farming all these and then we're gonna make some auto crop farmers i can just put them right here i can just build some walls around this and make them do their thing we'll figure it out but i think what we're gonna do is we got the iron farm done we're gonna go ahead and farm these crops over here but i just want to see how good this is working make sure there are no iron columns on the side and guess what we found um it looks like after we farm those crops we're gonna have to mob proof this side over here just because iron golems are spawning a little bit we don't really want that but we can go check how much iron we got already oh already a stack i know i just put 19 in there but thing works pretty well it wasn't that hard to make either it only took us a couple days but we'll use this fortune one axe to farm all of our crops we're gonna get that done and then we're gonna go ahead and try to decorate our base a little bit as well as try to get a villager with a diamond shovel and go get diamonds for enchantment table and get a librarian we got a lot of stuff to do but let's start off with the crops so let's see how much this helps and boom there we go that is a lot of carrots and potatoes okay we'll go ahead and trade these up thank you for your services sir 51 emeralds in my hand that's huge it'll be good for starting the other villager we probably should go and do that now so we can do that and then reset his trades and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna need four pieces of wood and two pieces of iron so i gotta go get some wood and i gotta go grab some iron but that's the good thing about this now we can actually upgrade him faster because we can use our iron ingots instead of just using getting shovels and hoes and all that kind of stuff so boom boom hello hello welcome to your new home okay go get your job pal okay there we go. Now he's stuck in there. Now I can infinitely do his trade. We'll just buy as many until he levels up and then go get a stack of iron and level him up again. And he should be way easier to level up than the other guy. Um, and then there's an iron golem just out here. Okay. We'll actually go ahead and grab a bunch of stuff from this just because we'll go ahead and we'll get all the iron to make hoppers and all that kind of stuff. And we're just getting everything out of this. This is fantastic. Once we have it spawn proofed over on the other side and they just continuously spawn, it'll be fantastic. And you can't even see anything too, which is kind of cool. Let's see. Only three. There we go. Nice. And he's leveled up again. He's got for me. Please don't have a shovel. And he has a shovel. This pickaxe is cool though. What does that mean for the last guy? I don't know. We'll just we'll figure out. Does he have he has a shovel? There we go. Only efficiency one, but it is a shovel. I can go and buy three of those. What pickaxe do you got? Breaking two. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I will go ahead and work my magic on these really quick. Boom. W pickaxe. W shovel. All right. And just like that, we're gaming. And that was pretty quick. That's huge. Now we can level up stuff that fast. Now, do I want to make this into it? I think I do. I think that'll be the easiest way. I need two minecart hopper chests for everyone. So there's going to be four. So I need eight. And I need eight hoppers as well. Make a whole bunch of chests. And then I'm going to need more iron. But boom. I'm going to hit him with the boom. 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 There we go. Eight minecart with hoppers. Where is the... Oh, yeah. The rails right here. We'll need those. I'm just going to go and put those in the chest for now because I'm going to go and spawn proof the other side really quickly. Maybe that's not entirely the problem. I don't know. But see, so yeah, there's two iron golems. I think it is. Yep. There's three yeah, ads. It's because it's, it's over here. Okay. So I will start from, I think, right here. I'll go one away from the border and just fill this all in. I'm not going to be over here, so it's not going to be a problem with how it looks. And we are done. There we go. Might not look the best, but it will perform the best. It's nice. There is an iron column up here. Let me go and murder him. And let's go see how much iron we got for today. Hopefully it's quite a bit. Yup, just as I expected. Two and a half stacks. But that'll keep going forever and ever. But now, I think what we do is we get... We might just do all of these right here into the respective things. I need a librarian so I can get glass. So I'll replace all this later. But I'll use cobblestone for now. And then what we do is we just regain. Well, if I'm not mistaken, it's quite literally just have a villager here, villager there, villager there, villager there. And on each corner of these, I have, well, I put the villager, other villager right here with the profession. And I have right here the um, hopper with minecarts. And they will start trying to throw them to them. And it'll just not work. It'll go in the hoppers and I'll be gaming. So let me go and make some more chests. Here we go. And I need more iron and I need more wood and I need more everything. So just give me a second, please. Pretty please. Oh, hey chicken. Hey chicken in the boat. 
boat. Okay, so with all of those chests and whatnot, I might need more hoppers because of just, you know, things. Here we go. And then we'll add another one to that. I'll have to do the same thing on the other ones, but that's not a big deal. The day has bloomed. Order has expanded. Array. So to do that, we'll just place that right there. And if I throw a boat in there, it should be down in the chest. Boom, there we go. So to do this, we just need to boom, boom. There we go. There we go. We got that settled down. And we hit him with the boom, boom, boom. All right. And I think we need glass. So they can see the villager. And I do have nine pieces right here, so that's perfect. We'll hit him with the boom, 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 boom. And we'll go and keep doing the outline. I know, I know. It doesn't look pretty right now, but it will later. We'll have glass and all this kind of stuff. And you'll be able to see the villagers and whatnot. But for now, I don't really need that. I just need it to work. Boom. And then we get the... Let's go get our rails and our mine carts, and we'll figure that out too. Pretty sure if we just slap one right there, and then we we'll do that, and then we slap another one up top because we're supposed to stack them on each other all right so let me do the good old f3b that's not the right one f3b there we go now let's go ahead and hit the we're gonna have to break this but and that we break there we go we break this right here should just set nice and neat on top of that and i did forget one little thing i cannot touch those mine carts let me go make some trap doors so they can't actually hit anything and i'll show you what i mean by the trap doors now if you place one right here one right here so he comes to throw them he doesn't he can't actually go under here do the same thing over here trap door trap door all right that should be the setup right there now we just need a couple of villagers to get composting professions or farming professions so now what i think i'm gonna do first i'm gonna get the villager in the middle in here first i don't care if this guy likes me or not he's merely a business partner so let's go and give him a fletching profession where's my flint there we go boom go and grab him out of there there we go Get in the boat. Let's take it for a spin really quickly. We'll go ahead and box him up too, just so he can't get out. I want this to be as easy as possible. Boom, too bad, so sad. Not to come work. Oh, you're so close, pal. There we go. All right, nice, we got him in there. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. And then we'll go get the other four villagers, make them farmers, and we're gaming. Okay, we got one of the villagers in. Now let's fill this guy's inventory, see if it actually works, and try to go breed with the other guy. I guess I'll just go and get the other guy and see if he starts doing the thing. And you're stuck in there, pal, sorry. I really don't know if he's throwing him to him. If not, I'll take away the glass, and then we'll see if he does that from there. Boom. Get locked in, pal. And just like that, we're on to our last villager. Let me go check again if there's anything down here. There's some carrots. I think that was from a mistake. Those are from a mistake. And that's from a mistake as well. Um, might have to break the glass just so they do throw them to him. But we do just need one more guy. So we'll go ahead and get him now. There we go. Nice. There we go. Yeah, you thought you were slick, huh? All right, so all of these villagers are in here. They started planning everything. I don't know if they can actually see this guy. Oh, is he throwing stuff? I can't tell. Let me go and find out. I think that's what he was doing. That's not what he was doing. Um... Excuse me? They're all hugged up against it. Are they just trying to make out with him or what? Dude, there's still nothing in here. Okay. Let me go to bed, see if that fixes it. Actually, it's day number 61, but they're still just stuck right there. Do I need to trade with these guys first? Maybe I need to lock him in or break the glass right here. I mean, you still can't move. How are you able to do that? Get back over. How'd you move out of that spot? Let me hit you. Let me hit you. Now you're stuck. Now they're going back to farming. Let me check again. I'm just, I'm just so lost. Now, wait, what the heck? Oh, stack? Since when? Okay, well, it worked for one guy. Maybe I need more villagers. I don't know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if I need a villager in every single one of these slots. And if that's the case, then I mean, I'll, I'll go do it. Just because he moved over. Because this guy threw him in. He moved over right here. So maybe he saw him that way and threw him into there. Or I just need two villagers. Let me go check back and see if there's any more. There's three potatoes. I think that was just from breaking them, though. I guess let me move him right there. Yeah, you move over there. There we go. Nice. So you can just stay there. See if that works. Then I get another villager right here. I don't think I need four. There we go. See, yeah, I think he's throwing, he was throwing stuff right there. I think that's working now. So I just need two villagers because these two will throw to this guy. They'll still throw to this guy. That should work. All right. All right. Moment of truth. There are potatoes in there now. There are carrots in there and there are potatoes. Boom. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and fill all the inventories of everybody just to make sure they're all nice and healthy. And we should be good now. We should be gaming. That's all it took was just they needed to be in those slots. All right. So we have our farming stuff done. We have all that stuff done. Now, I think the challenge is getting better tools hopefully an enchantment table is in the future let's go check on the iron farm see what we got going over there see if any other iron golems spawned outside of it i think we should have fixed that problem you know i think we're good we should be good see how much iron we got i'm betting like a whole entire row nine stacks of iron let's see that's way more than nine stacks of iron okay this thing is 
Fantastic. This thing is great. I need it in my hardcore world. Oh, wow. And this thing will start picking up as well. And I think since this is kind of in the way of a lot of stuff, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and have pathways going around it. Obviously, we'll make this a little wider. And then what we're going to do is we're going to transform that all into glass because glass will just look better. I guess let's find out how much stuff we have already. Okay, it's going pretty well already. These guys right here, I don't know if they're very useful. Let me see what we can do with our pickaxes and axes. I'm pretty sure I can get three more shovels off this guy. And if I do remember correctly, I have another shovel in here. And so we can boom, boom. We have efficiency three. We just need one more for it to insta mine. I guess we'll be waiting another day to get one of those. I will be grabbing another one of these. So I have unbreaking three on my pickaxe. And efficiency, I need... That's only efficiency one. That's kind of That kind of sucks. Let me just go to bed. Reset all the trades and do it tomorrow. Let me go ahead and make this insta mine shovel. Efficiency four shovel. It doesn't have unbreaking on it, but... It's an instant mine. Boom. There we go. I guess I'll go and try to grab some diamonds after making a librarian villager. I'll go and place him back here. So let's do this thing. Let's see what this bad boy can get. Now let's get him to be a librarian. I'll trade. I'll trade. Breaking two. I said I would take that, but if I'm breaking three is possible, I want to breaking three. Um, and it has bookshelves. Okay, you know what? I will I will take what I can get. I'm not going to be here for forever because that's not the point of this video. I will take unbreaking two. Boom. And more bookshelves too. And I will be putting a breaking two on my shovel. Never mind, I will not. I don't have enough. Let me go get some more iron. I can't believe how much iron I have. That's what I can't believe. It's actually crazy. Let me go trade this iron up. There we go. Thank you for all your experience, sir. Then I'll be able to slap on breaking two on this shovel really quick. And now that shovel is fantastic. And my anvil just got smoked. But I have infinite iron. So now that that's done, let me go and grab... Well, actually, I kind of got good stuff on all my things. I just need a better efficiency. I guess I guess actually we'll just do that for now. We don't really need to enchant anything. Thing, so buying it getting enchant table is not a priority. We'll go ahead and grab all that stuff. Two more lecterns. Let me get these villagers going. Shall we do this again? I have to go in there. Thank you. Oh, you're just you wanted you wanted to go in there. And then we can just game like we used to. On breaking three, what did I say? And it's way cheaper than this. Alright, well, you're staying there. I'll just quickly just um create some iron and grab that because this game's fantastic. It's wonderful, it's amazing. So let me just, you know, take that in. You can die. Sorry, pal. You're dead. And we can, um, get another one. Get in there. Get in there. Protection four already. Okay. Did not expect that, but now I just need efficiency four or five. And then I'm literally done. I don't need mending. I'm not going to be playing long enough for mending. Let me lock you in. There we go. But now you need to get in the corner. Get in the corner. There we go. All right. Now you work there forever. All right. On to the next subject. All right. So you can get in there. Yep. And boom. And then boom. Now we start efficiency three. I think it's worth. We already got it so fast. I think we're just going to keep it. Let me just go and um take a nap real quick. So everyone else can reset their trades i can go trade with everybody the other thing too is i can trade with the farmers down here I should have tried to customize their trades i don't even think about that but that's okay because we have a bunch of carrots already a bunch of potatoes even more carrots and even more potatoes and we're off and we'll see what we can do with these guys what can you trade you are terrible i'll trade with you we're trading all of our potatoes all of our carrots everything all right now let's lock this bad boy in efficiency three i'll take it i can't complain about that i mean i'll probably just buy another axe where's the axe guy he's in the little box how funny is that how much is the axe gonna be where are you at fool okay seriously where are you at there we go and it's of course it's 29 emeralds okay i guess we'll hit him with the whoop de dee scoop de dee all the iron in the world and i already have enough let's go now we have to find him again there he is okay boom and what we can do with that make a fantastic axe it'll probably be cheaper to this on that right yeah because it's technically repairing it. Okay. Now we have efficiency four, fortune two, and I'm breaking three axe. That's effectively perfect. We'll have that for a while. If we get two more of these, then I can combine those. Boom. Combine these, which is a lot more than I need. 17. Oh, wow. Okay. I forget how expensive all this stuff is. I'd also need to level up these guys too. Anyone have bookshelves? No. That's going to be a little rough. If I can't upgrade my librarians, I might as well just go get some sand because I got quite a bit now and leveling up one of them might take quite a bit. Well, I will go to sleep for now. Let them reset their stuff and we're be good it looks a little gloomy outside today and yep it is raining have they reset yes they have okay now i can combine those two and how much is going to be to do that 19 okay that's a little too much there pal okay well that can wait and i think the goal is is we're going to spruce this up finally we have a bunch of our stuff ready to go boom 
There we go. I know I said I wasn't gonna do that, but we finally have the fantastic pickaxe. So, let's so go and put everything back in the chest right here. And then we're just gonna start chopping a bunch of stuff down. But yeah, look at our stuff. We still need another breaking book for my shovel, but the breaking tool will be just fine for now. And now we'll go test out our new axe on all the trees that we planted. And the night's not even over, and we already have over five stacks of wood. I forgot how nice it is to have overpowered tools. And I've only done about a hundred damage on this thing. In other words, we're kind of pretty stacked. All right. Right, so I think I'm going to start off with this first area out here. I'm going to finally build a little archway. It's going to be symmetrical to that. I'm actually going to plant some more saplings just real quick. I know we're going to need more wood no matter what. First, let me fix this thing right here. I don't like how it's looking like that. So there we go. Yes, sir. I want to have this little circle area nice and neat. Like parts right here, there will be the wall. But obviously right here, I'll dig more into that the side. Have it a little wider. Have more of a little staircase down. I think same thing on the other side obviously just because I'm gonna have this a little wider and there's gonna be a staircase down to the base level kind of thing so first things first I think setting out some some pillar points of this thing would be nice but what I probably should do is I should go get glass first just so it's here let me go down over there and do that really quick see it would have been nice to do something over here but I've already got so much stuff over there I'm just rather not there we go get all the sand that we just mined all right I think that will be enough sand it's a little over three stacks all right now we're back let's get all the charcoal out of here boom and boom all right now all we do is start the process of figuring this out i'm pretty sure what i'll do is right here on this block i'll go ahead and do wood staircase all the way up the staircase just a pillar and then same thing on that one right there boom just like that and same thing on both of these edges um actually i can't do it over there just because it would kind of be in the way can't even do it right there i mean i guess i could that would look pretty dumb though yeah that's not gonna work that's okay but we have this part sectioned off we will do these right right here though i'm also gonna move that right there boom all right it's just gonna kind of be like that i can do one right here though i'm honestly tempted to move this too and just completely build over it if i need to make remake this i can make it somewhere else i'll just leave those guys back there yeah i'm gonna do that okay bye bye sorry sir and you really did nothing but you're you're dead so oh let's finish the outline of this nice and then right there as well i'm pretty sure and then same thing right here i mean this has to stay here obviously and i will have to make this a little wider down here so i just need some more dirt and it'll just be a little wrap around there'll be staircase right there going off into there we got that settled now this part is situated so yeah then we got to do the same thing over here see now imagine this with garbage tools that's kind of why i spent all that time doing that just so we could do this a little faster but yeah that looks Looks pretty good so far. I mean, obviously we'll make it a little bit better. We got that done so far. Let me get some more of this bone meal though. I can start replacing that with glass so I can just see the full product that we're gonna have. Here we go. Let me put these in my offhand so it's just easier to do. I'm not gonna have enough, but it's gonna be pretty close. I mean, there's still more sand on there, so I'm not stressing about it and that does look a lot better it kind of cleans it up too but you do need a bit more sand let me go down and get some more of that really quick and then we just all right so well that's cooking i do want to figure out where to put these guys i know i'm gonna tunnel out that way like in this little thing it's gonna be kind of like this and then there'll be whatever behind it i would say same thing about that place but i don't know if there's too much room let's go check on the mountainside uh, i mean there's there's a little bit we can put something back there so i just wonder what i'm gonna do with the sides i mean i got a lot of cobbles stone but i do have some diorite as well obviously i'm gonna use polished diorite not any of the fake stuff polished deep slate might look good too but i have no idea we're just filling in the gaps yeah because that just looks so much better on the outside and then we do the same thing right here yeah the cobblestone looks good boom we'll just do that on all four sides and then on this i think i'm gonna do one block in maybe right there and that's where the thing oh that's not right and then that will be like the archway thing let's see how this will work boom i mean like that works i think it looks fine yeah no that's fine i do like the diorite around it but now on these sides, I think what I'll do is I'll alternate these two and then do three. In the middle, I might do something. How's that look? <laughs> It adds something to it, but I think it needs more depth right there. I think what I'll do is I'll just have alternating cobblestone stairs, and that might look good. There we go. Not much, but it adds a little bit. That'll be good for that. And at the same time, I think I'm going to fill in the top again. Like, it's not just going to be slabs, because it kind of looks dumb with the little thing poking out. I'll do the same thing right here. Boom. There we go. And then I will do the cherry log right here as well. And then this should just be... I'm going to make the middle die right right here, like that. And I'll do this cobblestone as well. There we go. That looks good. Boom. There we go. Just like that, do the same thing with the diorite. We'll surround it. And we've run out of diorite. That 
is a problem. Finish this with cobblestone. That looks good over there. Now, what do I do for the rest? First, let me go ahead and finish the all of the glass that we need. So the first part of the circle is good. We're just going to make the pathways down there. I think we'll probably do the floor now instead. Breaking blocks isn't hard whatsoever, so this will be a breeze. Might just take a second. I think I do want to do like a smooth stone to wood to other wood kind of thing. So, so what I was kind of thinking was is I do this right here all the way down the middle. And we'll just go and strip all those. And then there should be, I think it's smooth stone. Another day has started, border has expanded. But I do stuff like this. I didn't even start smelting my cobblestone. That's not good. I have a little walkway. Or do I do some wood slabs around that? Let's try it with the slabs. Mm, yeah, I actually like that better. Now I just do cobblestone on the outsides or whatever. Boom. All right, I think that's good. All right, and then we'll go around and do the same thing with the wood. Right here, it'll split off into the pathway thing. That's a creeper just out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, I need a shield. I'm really not trying to die. Where did you come from? He was just there. He probably just spawned inside of here because I haven't placed any more torches. Just a few blocks broke. Not a big deal. I mean, that's good right there. Maybe just fill that in right there with that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just fill that in with wood. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess that's fine. Good stuff right there. Actually, we got the floor done. We will move all this stuff back here. We do need to find a place to put these guys. It'll probably be back there. But for now, we're chilling like that. We do need to get some lanterns, though. Though we do have enough to get lanterns because we have this iron. So that will be on the agenda pretty soon. All right. I'll go ahead and do this side over here too. And the world has expanded once again. Boom. There we go. Now it all kind of adds up. I actually hit him with that and then hit him with this right here. The only thing that's kind of annoying is this kind of in our way. We're kind of good for now. All right. Now that this front area is done, we can start expanding over there. But we're running out of wood. So we're probably going to go and mine some of that as well as a lot of other materials too. All right. Let us get to chopping some trees. Hmm, a day later, we have a lot of wood. I don't know how much that is. I'm not going to count. Doesn't matter. But we did chop down basically every tree in this vicinity. And I'll be placing them back down just because we will need more wood at some point. Nice, nice. And we're back in the underground. Honestly, I don't really need this guy anymore. So, um, eh, he, could just, he can walk around. If he dies or whatever, he dies. Not a big deal. I don't really need anybody else anymore. I might as well just release them. They do whatever. And then I'll just finish this whole entire thing up. Just going to fence this off so they can not leave because i do not want them leaving whatsoever maybe even just box them all up hold on perfect and then i can just box them up right here there's no possible way i think that they can get out of here so just boom 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 do that then place this for these two guys and then the last furnace for him boom yeah okay there we go this guy that he's not a problem i don't i don't really care about him but while they're asleep let's go ahead and fix this up there we go i don't have any of the stuff i need there we go and now the floor is done that's open those guys are back there they're just chilling and I'll figure them out later. Okay, so now we just need to figure out this hallway right here. Go ahead and outline with whatever we got. Boom, 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 boom. New day has started. Hooray, hooray. So that's good. Almost on the outside over here, we don't have to worry about extra dirt just because of how it's actually shaped. I guess now should be the time to address this. Just make this a rounded thing like that and then we'll have to dig this out and redo it, but not a big deal. And this is so close that we might be able to build a little up thing to it. That's actually kind of perfect. We'll do one more right here and then I... Th Think. Eh, well, yeah, we'll go all the way out a little bit. Just have it like that. We'll clear this out. I don't know what we're going to do right there. And we'll do some pattern thingy. Here we go. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. It is right here. Nice. Just like that. That looks beautiful. Beautiful. Do I do the same thing right here? Yeah, let's go and do that. Yeah, that works. That's perfect. We have that all set out for us now. I think I might want to extend this out a little more, though, honestly. Just because I think it'd look a lot better, especially when this kind of wall is taken out. Because if you look back over here, I mean, if you're looking straight ahead kind of looks a little dumb looks a little closed off so if that's all just gone i think that'll be great or not all of it's going to be gone but most of it'll be gone so let's figure this out i mean that's all dug out now but i gotta go and patch it up obviously it is nice to get it carved out a little more so we have a better look at what we're doing that's kind of a big hole to fix let's not do that yet let's go ahead and do the same thing we just did to all the other sides and the border has expanded again i still got a little bit of carving out to do i'm gonna do the most over here just kind of even out the bottom and we're done there we go carved oh except over there but other than that we got it carved out which is nice all nice and good and there we go that just looks so much better over here more cleared out more nice we can go ahead and block that off too give me one second just gotta chunk all the cobblestone that i mined in this chest Let's see what this looks like from the outside hmm looks pretty nice and 
And we're done. Boom. We're good. We blocked it all off. I'm excited to build this staircase down. I don't know how well it's going to look, but it's going to be nice and good. It's very nice that we have this kind of cleared out. Okay, we kind of got our work cut out for us. It's not a bad thing whatsoever, but let's figure this out. So I think we start doing a pathway kind of through this whole entire place. There we go. A nice little pathway connecting to this one. And I have to figure out how to kind of match up all this stuff. But for now, that'll do. I think one comes next is the staircase. Just because that's the other exit to this place and i think we kind of build the rest of this place down here off of the staircase if that makes sense so yeah what i kind of want to do is build it to where it circles down this way i think i start up there we just go up top and figure it out and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to build a nice cherry village up here go with my house and to go with everything right here i feel like that's the best use of this area oh we got phantoms too. Oh no. I mean, they're not going to hurt me whatsoever, but they're going to be annoying. So I might as well go sleep. So I'll be hopping in me bed and taking a little nap. All right. And the phantom should be burning and we should be gaming. Let me bring my stone cutter and a bunch of cobblestone as well. And I guess I should bring some diorite. Just kind of bring everything I got. Let's go check how much iron we actually have. Um, okay. That's a that's a problem. I mean, I'm not surprised that it's backed up. I don't even need any of that iron right now, but that's a whole lot. So, all right, let's go up here and see what we got. Let me set down the crafting table and uh, stone cutter, and let's get to work. I don't know how many stairs I actually wanted this thing. I know I want it to have a base of like cherry wood, obviously, and then a five block width, kind of like that. And then we just slowly bring it down. As much as I'd love this to be like this, I don't know if that's very practical. We might just have to go around a couple times. Actually, I kind of don't mind that let's see who we're working with right here here we go and then with this right here we'll be extending this out maybe just do five by five so it might be boom 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 we might have a couple more things like that i'm not sure and then do the five fiver thing again we have to dig into the wall really quick we will be digging all this out too i'm just trying to make it usable first and then we will assess the situation we're in this is going to be the final platform right here it'll be five blocks out okay so we're going to be trying to do the same exact it's gonna stack on top of each other so if we do one two three so it's just three so this will be the last one and then another five platform five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. Boom. All right. And then this should be the last one that we have to do. We should be pretty close to the ground now. So we should not be sticking out either. So I think this was almost perfect. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of chests. Make a double chest just so I have all this stuff. I want to not collect any blocks just because you never know when we actually might need them. And boom. Just like that. We're a couple of steps away from finishing the staircase or at least the stairs part of it. And that is practically exactly what I wanted. And once this is all chopped up, then we should be good. And then we'll just do this a Along the whole entire path. I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll have the post, obviously. We'll do the pillars right here on all the corners. That just looks just fine. Oh, this is why we get the diamond shovel. Look at this thing. Let's get the baseline out of this setup really quickly. It's coming together. Okay, the staircase is done. We just gotta do some supports and fix all the weird looking stuff down here. Because yeah, that's not gonna look so pretty. So let's um chop that down. Okay, everything's dug out right now. Um, except for this big old chunk. Give me a second. And I think that's it. We just completed it. This is actually kind of big, but... Oh, and things are spawning in here. That's not cool. I was going to leave these trees. I might actually just leave that tree. This tree is kind of in the way, so I think it's got to go. But I will be planting some more trees down here because they do look good. I might actually think that cutting this off right here will be good. And then over here, since this is like a mine place, a big old mine, we have a little like exit over here into the mine. I don't know. I think that would look good though. Um, Yeah, I think I am going to do that. I just got to figure out how I'm going to build the walls out and what to do for the actual staircase. It just looks fine like this. I don't need to put anything else on it except for maybe be like i do a pillar right here leading to that and same with right here and then right here then on the corner as well just everywhere kind of thing yeah that'll work a nice way to get up and down and then i will cut off this over here from interest to the mine but what do i do with down here and i'll grab do i have any bones i got two in my inventory but i don't think i have any more anywhere else yeah no i think we're uh we're all out of luck but what we'll do is we'll grow some of these trees down here. Try to make them look nice. That'll stay there because that looks good. And then we will be carving this out a little bit. We'll start growing trees. We just want them above the pathway. So let me start one right here. Hopefully this grows correctly. 
And it didn't even grow. Okay. But we will plant another one probably right here, right here, because it'll go into a pathway like so. I will connect it with this right here. Boom, do this, but then I will connect it through here. There we go. Now it connects to there, and then there will be a pond over here. So we'll just go ahead and do this right here. Tree right maybe here. Tree right here. Tree right here. And that's about it. I think down here is going to be the storage area. We'll just have storage underneath the staircase, because that'll probably be the easiest thing to do. I'll block this all off we'll have a wall just sitting right here boom like that i mean we're not gonna fill that in because we don't know what we're doing over there yet but that's the basis of it we'll have a little archway that'll just diagonal go over there and then there'll be a little thing and then boom i don't have to worry about this right here we'll have a wall we'll have everything then boom and we're done with this place now that we have that outlined all the way over there let's outline everything over here let's see what we want to do with this i have a feeling i want to stop it right here actually like to where this is the pillar all the way up this is a wall yeah i think that'll look better um, that tree is not what we wanted, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. There we go. That's a little blank, but we could end up doing something over there. You never know. 200 days. 200 days if you want 200 days. Now we just got to figure out what's going on under here. I'm probably going to mine this out too, just because I need diorite. Boom. There we go. We got three stacks and a half. That's crazy. That's that's huge. We're probably going to need more, but there we go. Let's transform all that into polished diorite. Just like so. Now the fun part. We still have to mine all that out. Okay. Okay hear me out. I'm actually tired of mining stuff. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to finish this up last because I'm tired of breaking stuff. So let me go and just cover these walls. Let us commence forth. That is a W tree right there. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's start over this way. Yo, let's get this finished up real quick. Does that work? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks fine, but I wouldn't worry about it. So now let's do the same thing right here. There we go. And you can't really see all too much of that, but it works. That's so perfect right there. Now let's start that thing all the way over here. What I think I can go do on the other sides, though, is I could have this round off right here. Is that, I think that adds a little more to it just so it's not as bland. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Do it over here as well. Ooh, and this tree right here, kind of a W tree. I'll, I'll just leave that. That looks completely fine. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll, this one will just be cobblestone. Yeah, so it's not just screaming out at you. I think this one, I'm going to add some big old design or something. There we go. There we go. Boom. A little design for the homies. God bless y'all. It's starting to look more than just a cave. And I might actually keep the grass on the ceiling. I just need to fix up that over there so it doesn't look as like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I know that it just doesn't look good right there. With the edges right there, I just don't think it looks good. So I'll have to go and fix that. There we go. And now we can back... What am I saying? Now we can head back to the, 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 the now we can head back to the designs. Dude, with all the trees, oh, that tree grew. That is a W tree too. All these trees look so nice. And the last one right here. How long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Boom. W W. Let's go. It's starting to look amazing. Don't look over there. Don't look. Just look over here. All right. Our sanctuary is looking rather awesome. I will need to take some of these flower petals, though. I know I have a lot of them in chests. Um, I threw them all away. Never mind. I mean, it's not like there's not five million outsides, though. I can just go up here and we'll see so many. And I will get that silk touch pickaxe so I could bring the beehive down. I think bees would be nice. But as I said, just come over to the side and then boom. And that is plenty of flowers. I would, I would hope. Actually, I'm just going to grab a couple more just in case. Just be placing these everywhere. A lot of pretty flowers on the ground. That looks actually really nice. I should probably go to sleep so phantoms don't spawn when I go outside. And as we enter day number 77, we have a lot to do still we need to finish up all the walls inside of here we have all the walls down over there and we need to get flowers we need to get bone meal all this kind of stuff we'll do this last because we need to create an opening over there we'll start start mining out the sections over here also stuff like this just needs to go away and now we will mine all this out one more time the thing that i just love doing there we go there we go all right and we just got that one and we still have over there that's wonderful great fantastic amazing exquisite and there's that too Nice. And yeah, so we got to mine some more stuff out. Let's go. I love mining. I love mining. I mean, it's half of the game, but I love mining. Boom. It's all done. Okay. We're getting ever so slightly closer. This one's going to be a little bit rough because I'm running out of polished diorite. Okay, well, there's this whole entire section and I have no more polished diorite. I'm sure I can go find some, but do I want to? Not really. All right. We just need a couple more blocks and then we're done. Now, where can I find some diorite? Before we do that, I'll fix the other the problem of this being exposed but i guess we can go in the big old cave i'm sure there's at least some diorite surface level right we'll be able to find some pretty soon i guess let's go down and find out we're gaming we're a bunch of gamers i think i have a little bit too much diorite i am not mining all this all right i think four stacks is enough let's all smooth it out or 
polish it up or whatever you want to call it. Let's get out of here. Get me out of here. I don't want to be in the cave. Caves are scary. They're scary. Boom. Here we go. So oh, we're back in action just for a couple of blocks. The story of my life. But hey, it looks nice. Sort of. I don't know how nice that looks, but it is done. Go down here on our nice little path. I'm going to get some lanterns though. I'm going to start upgrading the librarian to get some lanterns because that would be huge. Now this back here, this is a problem. And this is a problem. Okay. Let me get to mining again. Okay. Oh my. Our new day has started and we're slowly running out of time. We got this to finish and we have to make our custom cherry village. There we go. And we get to gaming. It kind of looks pretty dumb. Um, let's add a little bit of, uh, spice up to it. Boom. There we go. Now it looks dumb. Just one of them. Um, we'll, we'll hit him with the, how does that look? I mean, that looks all right. The ceiling doesn't really match up, but that'll do. And I guess I'll do one right here. Then we'll get one right here as well. Yeah, that looks good. Looks very, very nice. All right. Now for the last row, let's go ahead and build the tunnel first. Is that enough room? There we go. That looks better. That looks dumb. No, that looks good. Exactly what we want. And then we'll hit him with the... Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Just like that, we got a little tunnel. This goes outside and then comes back inside. There we go. Now we just got to build the wall around it. How does it look? Um, yeah, it looks just fine. I mean, there is a staircase right here. It looks like walls, so... Yeah, now that's more even than it was before, so... I'm pretty sure that was the last wall that I needed to do. I think we're done with the walls. Except for that part right there. All right, I think we deserved a night's rest. First order of business today i think i will go ahead and fix the little lip up there yeah let me go ahead and do that so this might end up being just as ugly but boom there we go yeah i think that was definitely worth it it just adds a little bit more and it does look a lot better i do kind of want to add a little threshold to the where it sections off to dirt though just to look a little nicer but yeah that'll gonna make it look a little better so it's not you can't just see the grass yes that looks so much better all i've got left up here is the storage area and our pond and our little thing right here i think i'm gonna do it one more into the wall so it's kind of i don't know it just looks a little sectioned off you know yeah that'll look a lot better so what shall we do with this empty space that we've created mm, yeah it's whatever it's not a big deal then we will go into the pond the pond should be pretty easy to shape out i'm just gonna do it out of dirt boom nice there we go let me light it up a little bit so it can grow but i will need some more water so let me go grab that really quick and then let's hit him with the all right, there we go. A nice little pond. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our little sanctuary. Other than this, we're all good to go. Nice little pathway, all this kind of stuff. Me, I need to go get enough emeralds to get that silk touch pickaxe to grab the beehive. And I need to make some more flowers. I need to get more bone meal so I can do that. I mean, I have a bunch of flowers here. I can also make cherry saplings and just keep them saplings too. What else do I got? I think that's pretty much it. We could put some sugar cane over there too. But other than that, yeah, I think that's it well there are flowers over here hold on take that one there are a bunch over here as well i guess i didn't really realize how much the border has expanded oh ow I'm trying to admire the border here pal you're about to get smoked hey look at that all the way over there can't even imagine how far over there but yeah what about over here we have cows what i mean not that we are doing anything with them but we do have cows that's pretty cool we have creepers as well that's not as cool but like look at how far this thing's come like i feel so far away from my base but i know i can literally look to the left and it's right there there's my horse he's wandered all the way over here and i've got me a brown sheep as well don't really need him but he's there we're going on to another day which is exciting i wonder what the nether looks like now i'm gonna actually go look at that here in a second but we're officially on day number 80 we're almost there we still got a lot of stuff to do though we're gonna build a cherry village like a custom cherry village and i gotta finish up stuff down there but other than that that's pretty much it i will be placing these everywhere though just to liven it up a little bit all of these flowers everywhere and then hit them with the saplings and then the string on top so they don't grow these saplings look pretty good it's just like a little bush boom there's a lot more life in here now looks so cute so cute we can't forget these sugarcane stalks nice okay so that is practically done right there i mean it is done but we still need to do our storage system which i might hold off on until the very end i kind of want to do the custom village real quick not real quick it won't be quick but it will be it'll be next at least that's what i'm trying to say all right we're gonna need quite a bit of stuff and i'm probably gonna go ahead and get another shovel oh i need to get that silk touch pickaxe too hold on give me that silk touch it's 32 all of a sudden but i mean that's not really a big deal let's just hope that the bees are not out um it doesn't look like they are uh we'll just wait till it turns 
night and then we'll come back because i guess that's just the easiest way to do it not a big deal not a big deal whatsoever Ooh, and i need to cover that up okay boom nice and concealed you wouldn't even know it's there i actually don't know about that i mean i think it's pretty obvious i also gotta make a grindstone i actually don't know how to make one let me just go to the trusty green book um looks like it doesn't want to show me i mean it sticks in like a slab or something speed run i'm gaming right now look at me go and there's a grindstone and so now i will grab more iron and do some more trades since that's going let me go grab the beehive they should be back in their hive for their nest whatever then i'll gladly slap that in my little atrium thingy i don't know what to call it i think this might be a different one i think there's two let me grab it real quick thank you thank you because i remember there was one just floating somewhere oh there it is there's the other one wow okay we got two you can go right there and the other one can go um the other one can go like right here boom now we're gonna have bees down here it's gonna be fantastic it's gonna be amazing all right so i don't think we need the silk touch anymore so let's go ahead and just grind that off and combine these two yeah it's gonna be 33 levels i don't think so too expensive okay yeah that's not gonna work let's find something else we're gonna make the final push to get this village done and then hopefully do the storage system so now we just gotta chop a bunch of trees down we need some more wood so let's get to doing that okay mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm, just doing the same thing over again again and again i love chopping trees down it's fun and, and amazing well the new day is about to start but i have a decent amount of wood so far i don't think i need that much but i will go with the flow of how the old villages look all right everything's kind of deforested let's go all oh, this wood in my inventory feels very nice i won't chop any of those trees down those will stay there but i think the first order of business is mowing a little bit of this down so we can actually place some houses kind of thing you know that's what i was thinking but let's go and build a couple chests right here so we can store all of our blocks we need boom bam nice all right let me go get some cobblestone as well all right so we practically have all the stuff ready to go and we just get this all mowed down i think i'm gonna do it just enough to where it's kind of lined up with my house so there we go we'll do that all the way through and there we go boom all flattened out now ready for some houses i am gonna have to do stuff with that though but for now it's good let me go ahead and fill this in to make it all look nice and neat boom and i would say boom a lot but oh nice and neat okay 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 it's gonna be a pathway coming through all of the village kind of thing it's gonna be straight like this i guess it'll meet up with this one just so it looks a little better nice nice little threshold to make it just look all better and this will the path will go all the way down to here right all the terraforming is done and i guess it's time to get to some building let's see what we got here first house is gonna go right in front of here i'm pretty sure actually i'm just gonna build houses how i want to so screw the we're going off the normal village i'm just gonna build them how i want boom 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 one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two three first three are gonna be down here i think in the middle we're gonna do cobblestone and then we'll hit them with the glass in the middle right there and then the wood on the outside on the top make it one taller do the same thing with the wood let's make ourselves some stairs and some cobblestone stairs i think i have some in the chest so much cobblestone why am i trying to save some Boom. Or do I switch it up? Do I make it like my house? That probably would be a little smarter. Um, yeah. Okay, we're gonna be doing that. Or we just take this off, do the opposite of my house. Because the cobblestone right there doesn't look really good. Here we go. And I do remember that this is normally cut out into logs. Like so. And that just looks so much better. Then we can craft a couple of doors. Place that bad boy right there. And right, now we make the pink bed. Pop that thing down in here. And then we'll give this we'll give this house a chest. Maybe just maybe a little table just in the corner. Boom. There we go. Nice little first house. Might look dumb, but I do not care. Second house is going to be right in the middle right here. It'll be a little bigger. What the heck is that? What's going on right there? Anyways, there we go. That'll be like that. And then we'll hit them with this right here. Nice. Okay. Okay. Then for this one, we'll do cobblestone walls. Looks a little better. We'll hit them with this all the way around. All right. I know it's a little skinny, but it's not about how it is on the inside. It's about how it looks on the outside. We will have a little staircase right here the floor will be wood that is thunder 
Okay. I think we will be uh, taking a nap in the guest house. Okay. Good night. Good night. I'm not getting struck by lightning today. All right. New day, new me. And this part will be a little balcony kind of thing. I'm here to make some slabs, I think. What am I here for? And up here, just a little quick, nice little thing. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. How does this look on the outside? It looks a little funny looking. Um, I'll be honest, but there will be a roof to it. So it'll look better. Hopefully. Um, I didn't think it was going to look like that it started off good and then it slowly went downhill let's go ahead and make a bed for it and this one will get a furnace boom just like that and if we go up to the roof i think we do it this way again okay get our cobblestone and our normal stairs i'm gonna need to make a lot more stairs though and let me fill go ahead and fill this in right here boom now it's done um okay, well the side doesn't look bad anymore the front is still a little interesting um i think it needs more color up top what about now let's find out yeah it looks better yeah i don't mind that that'll be fine not a big deal whatsoever and then a third one's gonna be in this corner right here it's gonna be facing how do i want it to face i don't know i think we'll use this path right here and this one will be just like that one but inverted boom there we go what did i do for the other thing i think i just did logs right yep yep i'm correct i'm correct put a crafting table in this one there we go nice little house there we go and a new day started and the border has expanded but if we're being honest we haven't really done anything with the border expanding in a while really no need for it i think it's so far out there that i can't even see it though never thought that would be a thing all right all right all right all right i think before we start building we need to repair some of our tools my shovel is on its last leg pretty much so is my pickaxe so if i want to repair the pickaxe i need 30 levels i'm pretty sure because yep 33 which is crazy with the shovel i'm not entirely sure so let's see what shovel we can grab we do this 21. What if we grind this down? Is it any cheaper? That is dirt. 17. Okay, that's doable. Let's go and get that really quick. I'm going to go and grab a bunch of more iron so I can trade that. I'll check out all the, the crops that I got. I haven't even checked that out yet. I, it's been going for quite a while. So, all right, I'm one level away from 17. So the shovel is about to be a-okay. -okay. So let's do this right here. Thank you for the level up. There we go. Let's combine that. And I think if we just add a space, it'll be one more, but I think it'll make it cheaper next time we try to do it. I don't know if that's with another shovel or if that's just with diamonds. I don't know. Now we need to get to level 30 which might be a little interesting all right let's see how many crops we have all right the moment of truth let's see how many crops we actually have boom oh oh okay we're kind of balling right now we just take all of those potatoes let me go trade them out really quick boom level 10 already huge and i will have a lot of emeralds to trade after that right, now we go grab the carrots all right and we almost traded all of our carrots that we got that's pretty good pretty nice we do have two stacks of emeralds so let's go ahead and see what we can buy with that there we go. Now we're only five levels away. And we just got so many levels so fast. I can't get an unbreaking three book for my shovel, though. There we go. Breaking three. How much is this going to cost, though? 34. Yeah, that's that's funny. It was nice knowing you, I guess. In reality, though, what if we slept and we got efficiency books and just put it on a new pickaxe instead of repairing this one? Probably be a lot better than trying to combine these two. So, like, how much is that going to cost? Three levels. Exactly. So, let's hit the hay really quick and let's reset those trades and so I can get more emeralds and all this kind of stuff. So, yep, yep, more iron it is. But I am happy we got that shovel. And this is a friendly reminder of how good mending is. Just because you don't have to do this. You could literally get one and then boom, you're set forever. So I have 33 levels. But let's say theoretically I was to get two books, combine them, put on the pickaxe and see how much that takes. Efficiency three, boom, boom. Then I just go like this. Efficiency four, then I go like this. That's only 10. If I do that, then we have a new efficiency for unbreaking three pickaxe. We just keep that in there until we get mending. So boom, there we go. There we go. I feel... Where'd you come from, buddy? And that was just a quick little pit stop. That didn't even that only took half a day, pretty much. We will have to go and search for bones though later. Because I want to bone mill a lot of this. It just looks a lot better like that. And we can go ahead and chop up a bunch of this stuff right here. Make it look all nice and neat. Let it grow out. Same thing with back here. I guess I'll do the wall too. I feel like we need something else over here besides houses. Do we do a stable for a horse kind of thing? For Davo's brother. But at the same time, is it necessary? No, none of this is necessary. So never mind. We'll go ahead and we'll build a stable. It'll look all nice and neat it'll be facing that way too but we'll start with right here how do y'all figure out how to build stuff i count every single thing out and just go from there it's very hard for me to just be quiet while i'm building something that's not even because i'm recording a video that's quite literally just how i do it i'm very vocal we got this going right here get some cobblestone going so what we're gonna do for the walls i did this in my hardcore world and i thought it looked pretty neat we will place these stairs like so and then we're gonna 
place them like that. Boom. That would make sense. I... Yeah, I forgot it did that. Um, well, I guess we might not do a floor. It might just be grass. Let's get a door going here. Boom, right there. Nice. So that's going to be kind of the walls. And then obviously we'll do this right here. All right, let's put the slab right there. Boom, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And we just repeat that on this side as well. We've got a nice little stable going. And then if we use these correctly, nice. And I think it's going to be the same. It's not going to be the exact same thing, but it's going to be pretty close. Just that middle part's not going to be there. The stable has been complete basically let's grab that cobblestone and go ahead and get some slabs that's what the roof's gonna be out of and there we go how does that look right there uh, it looks it looks just fine i guess i mean i have no real desire to change it so i guess it's gonna just stay like that and our stable is complete looking pretty nice now we can go get our horse and bring him back let's go to your new home dave foes brother now he's nice and cozy in his new house there we go we've got a little path to it got our couple houses and we got our little stable. Oh, and my hand is falling asleep. Oh no, Harpal Tunnel is not my friend. We'll say this does look a lot better than all the other abominations I've created. Moving on to do what to do next. Oh, look at our bee. What is he doing? What are you doing there, buddy? He's buzzing like a bee for show. But it's good to see that our bees are actually coming out. Like we need something over here. But at the same time, what? Do we need a staircase down to our actual base? Because, I mean, what I've been doing is just jumping off. I don't know how safe that is. So, yeah, let's go ahead and build a staircase. Let's go and Yeah, let's do that. All right. Let us commence forth. Let's finish it right here. And let's let it be one, two, three wide. Three will be fine. Boom. Just like that, we, we got it all figured out. And there we go. Got a nice little way up. Also, I think I am going to go and break a lot of these torches because I have infinite iron. And you know how to make lanterns is you have iron. And I have quite a bit of that. So if we go and hit up all these torches, we can use lanterns. Just like that, our farm just looks infinitely better. And then I have these fences. So guess what we're gonna do with those? We can go like this and then place a lantern down. She can't tell me that doesn't look infinitely better. So cute. Pretty. And all the bees and all the little petals falling down from the trees. This looks fantastic. Tell me that does, doesn't look better. And yeah, come on. Come on. That's probably a little too overkill. I'm going to go throw those but i think you get my point i will be placing a lot more lanterns once um once this place gets spruced up a little bit and once we have bones we'll collect some more flowers and make everything look pretty i think that's all the buildings we're gonna have so we just have those four houses right there the stable we're probably gonna build a little building around the staircase and i'm gonna build something here i don't know what yet but we will be building something right there all right i guess tonight is the night to get some bones i'm pretty sure no phantoms are gonna spawn tonight just because i think i slept two nights ago you know the funny thing is, is i do have this staircase right here but i will continuously just Oh, never mind. Maybe I should actually start using it. Or tonight, we'll be hunting them skeletons down. Let's go search for them skeletons. Them bony boys. Just get as many bones as we can. Oh, look how great it looks at night, though. That's so sick. And once there's more trees and more foliage and stuff, it's going to look fantastic. I could also shear a bunch of the, the leaves off of some cherry trees and have bushes. What? This thing's going to be sick. I'm actually so excited. All right. 22 bones it is. Because the day has just started. So that will get us, I'm pretty sure, 66 bone meal. Just plenty. Or should be. I don't know. So I guess we'll start just bone meal and everything. That makes it just look so much better. Just a little bit of bone meal just adds so much. And we'll start growing some trees too. And I guess we should start planting some trees too, just to let those grow while we're doing stuff. There might be saplings in this chest. Yep, 63. So ooh, once the trees start growing, it's over. It's over. This place is going to look so good. We have our first tree, kind of an L tree. I don't want it above this thing, but really it's not going to take up so much space though. I think I want to do a big old fountain though. That'd be pretty sick. We need to get a bunch of villagers up here too. And more bone meal. I'm actually going to go make a bunch of bone meal. So if we just grab these composters right here, we have a bunch of carrots and potatoes that we can take. Just make all the bone meal in the world. All right. How much do we got? 36. We can do a lot of stuff with that. Trees are starting to grow. Let's go. Gotta get this open field going. And all these flowers are growing too because it's plains. That's huge. There we go. And we can get 11 more of these tall flowers. These, these flowers are a game changer. I've, I mean, I've said it so many times. There we go. Just take a second to admire all the beautiful things that this place is. Look at the cute trees, all the flowers and everything. Ooh, that's a W tree. That is a W tree right there. All right, actually I changed my mind. I think I need more bone meal. Let's do carrots this time. We get 39 bone meal and let's go and use it all. 
There we go. All these trees are starting to grow. All right. I think it's on the back end of day 88, but I'm going to go ahead and sleep so I don't have phantoms tomorrow night. So I don't have to waste tomorrow night. So boom. There we go. All right. I think it's time to build that fountain. I want to use diorite right though. Where did all the blocks that I had go? There's 49. I'm sure we had more though. If not, we can just dig some out. All right. Let's get to building. All right. For this fountain, we're going to need quite a bit of blocks. So let me go check if I have more diorite right in some of these chests. If not, I will just gladly go and mine some more. But yeah, we don't have any so let's go into the mine there was a big old chunk of die right down here somewhere ah run all right here is the die right let's get to mining I think that'll be enough die, right? So I guess let's go back up and start building this fountain. Let me grab my stone cutter and my crafting table and let's get rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and craft all of the Polish die right. And then now I get a stack of stairs and 12. I'm gonna get 40 slabs. I got 45 walls. They don't have walls of die, right? That's interesting okay why don't they have polished diorite walls now i need to go get more diorite because i don't have enough for walls what the heck and frick man all right now we're back all right let's go we're gaming get me out out we're just a bunch of gamers all right put that in there we can make diorite walls we need 45 of those two three four five six seven eight and put a diorite wall up here there we go. I'm gonna come back down and do a full block on all four sides. We're gonna do slabs in between those. And then on the full blocks, we're gonna get our stairs that we made. Do an upside down one like that, just so it's a nice little cool pattern. Totally not following a YouTube video. We're gonna put our direct walls on top of those stairs. We're gonna do four stone brick walls on top of these blocks right here. And then we're gonna do that on all of the sides. There we go, looking like this. Kind of looks like a old altar or something. Anyways, and then we're going to go ahead and full block this whole entire section right here just like so and then on all those sides we'll be doing the doing the stair and then the slab like so and then the stair and the slab and then the stair and the slab and then the stair and the slab boom kind of looking like that we're gonna finish up with those stairs just like so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and place some stairs on top of those walls yeah we're gonna put them on the walls I think you can kind of see where this is going boom 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 and then there's the boom 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 okay and as we're building this we're heading on to day number 90 which is exciting stuff only 10 more days we've built this place up pretty well i'd like to think at least it's very nice so cute this fountain's gonna look even better the last thing we're up here we're gonna place a slab in all of these corners so this is what it looks like so far kind of looks a little funny looking but it'll come around and now all we gotta do is add the water and there we go now the fountain is just so pretty now all we have to do is light it up with some lanterns lanterns are great and there we go our beautiful fountain as a centerpiece to our whole entire village it's so cute there we go now what else do i do in here and why is there a cat swimming why are you in here is it at least nice do you like it i hope so where did the where did the string come from the cat just die i guess this water is kind of toxic or something i wouldn't go swimming in there all the trees are growing in nicely too and all the sheep are here davo's brother has a nice little house all this looks so pretty oh no the cat's here no the, the cat just died again Oh, no, it's okay. Where this, Where is the string coming from then? Is there anything else I could do without here for now? I think it looks just fine. This looks fantastic, actually. And I don't know if I want to make anything for this. I think this is just fine. And down here looks good enough. We do need some bone for down here, though. So let me go grab some of that. Let's hit him with that. There we go. It's all lively and whatnot down here, too. Some exciting stuff. Oh, this tree just grew. This tree's a W tree as well. All right, now that everything's done, up here let's go ahead and get some of the villagers out so i guess we can make a couple of different profession tables we can have a fletcher make a blast furnace how do we make a blast furnace we'll hit him with the wow boom boom and then the and then the bam and then the pop there we go we can go ahead and make our fletching table we can also make our lectern and a stone cutter too we'll go and put that up there um so i'll be digging this out a little more we'll go grab my boats five different professions up there we need six let's get six a grindstone we can get a grindstone six professions let's grab six boats so let's see what we can do i think you're gonna get the house right there 
There we go. We're going to put the farmer all the way in the stable. Oh, he's going for that one already. Where did you come from? Forgot you've been here. All right. You will be the librarian. Come here. And you will be down here in this house. You got to go in this other house. Come on, come on, come on. Put this guy in this house as well. He'll go upstairs. I'll be taking the boots so he can chill up there forever. All we need is one more villager. I actually think we might try to get one of every villager up there. Just because that would probably be cool, I guess. You can go in this house too. It's a community house. It doesn't have as many beds, but you don't really need to sleep. You'll be fine. A couple other profession tables we can make is we can have a... We can make a smithing table as well as a barrel for a fisherman. There's a brewing stand, but we don't have blaze rods. There is a shepherd. We need a cauldron as well. And then we need a smoker. How do I make a smoker? I just need to use cobblestone to make a furnace. And then I need four logs on top of that. And then there's the smoker. So we have four, five more, five more villagers to get. I think you're going in this house too. Perfect. All right. Just four more. Oh, hey. I know this guy. What's up? I know this guy. That's crazy. Wait, he's already a toolsmith. Excuse me, sir. You're not supposed to be there. Get out. Out. Are you sleeping on my chest now? That's that's fine. You can sleep over there. Um, is there anything I can do right now? I think I can go and carve out some of the stuff for the storage area because we still need to do that. Because I'm kind of just playing this based off I'm going to do another 100 days with this. Considering if y'all want to see that. Want to see another 100 days? Leave a like. Subscribe. Comment down below. 200 days. I don't know. Something like that. And I guess I have to listen to y'all. So I don't want to waste my nights. So I'll just do this until it turns day. And they actually want to work. Here we go. Do I just fill this in with dirt? I don't think so. I think I do like to this threshold. But other than that, I think that's it. And the under here will be the storage. I'm going to go get some more diorite. I guess while we're here, let's go and fill in what we're going to actually do. I guess I don't need any diorite for that. So it's not really that big. That'll work. And what do we want to do with the floor? Every third block we could do this maybe? Or this one right here. Oh, it's two. Yeah, that works. There we go. There we go. I might want to strip this too so it looks a lot nicer all cool and pretty and pink and then i guess just fill it in with cobblestone at least the outsides there we go and then yeah i'll go and get some diorite and fill that in because that will probably look a lot better or some smooth stone or both okay go ahead and do this right here and we'll do the stone slabs in the middle and the new day has started just as we're finishing this up i mean i know we don't have any of the chests in here yet or it even sorted but we have the building done at least and i'll be placing some lanterns up in here there we go nice little room it'll be all storaged up later but now we can go back to getting our villagers and we can start with this guy right here all right see if this guy wants to behave surely he will because it's broad daylight now which house should i put you in i think i'll go to the very far house and then the smoker guy with the butcher is what he's called. He can go with the stable. There we go. Perfect. You're locked in. I need a leather worker. Let's go grab him. Him and the butcher can go in the stable, actually. I want to get in the boat. Get in the boat. Thank you. Now let's get you to work there, pal. This guy's such a hard worker. Look at him go. Look at him go. Now we'll get him inside of here. And what has he got for me? A leather tunic with leather color F38BAA. I've never seen that before, but there we go. Leather worker has been achieved. And you can put that on if you want. Now we just need two more, the smoker and the smithing table guy. Let's go to the right, because you're going in the stable as well. All right, and we can get him in here right now. And let me buy some food from you. That's a lot of raw stuff. I don't want none of that. There we go, rabbit stew. Nice, and I'll munch on that and throw the bowl away. Okay, now we just got one more guy. Boom. Last guy. Oh no, it's raining again. Where do I put this guy at? All the small houses already have two. That has three. Big house has three, but it's bigger, so it can have four. Maybe, right? Right. Final one. Come up here. There he is. He's already looking at it. He's looking at it through the wall. He's got wall hacks. He is a gamer. And boom. Trade has been locked in. And now I got, what, nine villagers over here? So everyone's just chilling. And I can buy a bell now, so I can decorate this even more. Let me go and do that. Get some more polished diorites and see if there's anything we can do with that. So I think the bell where does it go i'm thinking maybe right here what am i building this is this is terrible this is garbage i mean that's better but it's still not good but that looks terrible too i just what, what do i do see i guess i'm not very creative when it comes to stuff like this i don't know what to do do i just have it right there no i'm just i'm just building whatever i'm building Okay, that struck literally right there. I think that's my sign to go to sleep now. Um, I'm seven days away. I'm not getting struck by lightning. That was very close. It was literally right here. But yeah, I still don't know what I'm building. Maybe I just do this and then a bell. That doesn't look too bad, right? <laughs> Tell me in the comments, please. Yeah, but I keep adding stuff to it. No, this, I think this is just fine. It's just fine right there. And that, now that looks dumb. Yeah, maybe it's just that right there. Boom. There's the bell. Perfect bell placement. All right. All right. I think the village is practically done. I enjoy all of this over here. I need to move this beehive though. So let me go and get more emeralds so I can buy another pickaxe with silk touch. Where's our boy at? He's just out because I 
and let him out, he might be deceased. But surely he would stay close, right? Or do you think he jumped back in the hole? Let me go find out. I chances are he did because that's where his profession table's at. Yep, there he is. All right, it's 32 now. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're such a, you're such a gentleman. No touch. Boom. Now, I think I gotta wait till night to actually do that. But now we can go ahead and make our storage system and start getting stuff moved over there. We'll grab the rest of this wood and head down there. So, how many chests do we need? I don't know. Let's go to the chests. How many chests can we make? 35. Well, I'm gonna need one more to make it 36. There we go. All right. So, this is gonna go. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna need a lot more chests. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna have a little bit more wood, but that's definitely not gonna be enough. I'll go ahead and... Those aren't even gonna open. That's... <laughs> okay, never mind. Never Never mind, never mind. There we go. I will go be chopping down some more trees. I'll, I'll see what wood we have scrounged up. Or what am I saying? I'll see if we can scrounge up any wood is what I meant. But it looks like we literally have nothing. Oh, never mind. We have a stack and a half of logs. That's probably going to be perfect, actually. But how much leather do we have? Four pieces of leather. Wow. Can you buy item frames from anybody, for chance? Because this is not going to cut it. Four is not going to cut it. Do we need any more chests than that? I mean, probably not. We can just We could just actually sort these out, though. Boom 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 we just need to go and kill a bunch of cows so let's go as well as make another shield while we're out is i don't want to be dying tonight especially not this close nice all right let's go grab some of these beehives and kill some cows for some more leather for some item frames for some whatever see look they, they all gather around the bell that's perfect all the villagers are nice and cozy i'll be grabbing this thank you there is another beehive up here we'll be snagging that thank you thank you we're not looking for anything other than beehives and cows and i'm pretty sure it's okay to kill all the cows we have in the little border just because i think they'll spawn again and if not then that's tough luck for me i guess no i don't think there's any more cows i gotta just kill them all but i do have eight leather so that's eight more than i had before and there is another beehive right here let's go all right let me get more sticks boom eight more item frames i wish there was an infinite amount of leather but i don't want to go kill that horse because that would be kind of cruel but i will be plopping a beehive down right there as well as putting one two three four five six seven eight more item frames now we just need what 13 14 15 16 17 18 more so we just need 18 more pieces of leather okay sorry i was checking my text message from my girlfriend i know i know minecraft gamer has a girlfriend seems fake right let's get some beehives going up here that'll be a little more lively boom and probably one over this way right on this tree this this tree looks like a good beehive tree but now i guess i'm gonna have to go and find some more cows hmm a new day has started and the border has expanded but the cows have not i do not see any i might have made a mistake hmm is it worth going over there it'd be a real pain to get them back over to the, to the base so i don't know right, let's survey it one more time oh nothing 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 okay i just won't have cows i guess it's not a big deal i guess we'll go and sort all these out look at all the bees all of the bees they're all just out okay so i think how this is going to work this is going to be all cobblestone this will be all a certain block to be all something all something let's just try to get them on top of every single thing so we just need four more so all cobblestone all dirt all wood and then we'll have other categories but for now let's focus on getting those set in because those are the three things that we except for wood but dirt and cobblestone we definitely have a lot of boom all the dirt goes into here how what are you doing gotta explode run boom all the dirt has been secured now let's go do the cobblestone which is a lot more than the dirt boom boom there we go now let's get all the cobblestone accents as in slabs and stairs and mossy and all the other extra stuff boom 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 and the bottom chest will be full of all the accent blocks there we go there we go there we go perfect perfect now time for all of the wood stuff all the wood in the bottom all the wood accents i should say all of the planks will go in the middle but all the actual wood go in the top boom there we go nice i did forget some stuff not a big deal and then what was next Next, all the random blocks. Diorite, boom, 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 boom. Obsidian can go in there too. More accent blocks. There we go. Then we can do all green stuff, as in like plants and whatnot. We'll do carrots. I'll do poisonous potatoes, but other than that, I'll carrots and potatoes have their own separate thing. I think they deserve it. Also, the food chest will be the, the that one right there. Yeah, the foliage will just be this one right here. And then we can do monster drops as well. That's something we have a lot of. Or just mob drops in general. This will be the mob stuff chest, but there will be no item frame yet. Alright, food will be next. I know this is not entertaining, but it must be done. Trust me, I'm not having fun doing it either. And then bars. 
or just like iron or any any ores in general will go in the next one i'll we'll go with this one right here same with the tools the tools will be the very last one tools and armor i guess because i don't want to have to have two different ones for those there we go might as well just start grabbing everything and just sorting it over here and the new day has started day number 96 we've got four more days i'm so excited i'm also gonna go ahead and chop this up take everything else out of it this and take all of the furnaces i'm just gonna put all this stuff down over there and there we go now that is completely cleared out so hit them with the oh, one two three four five one two three four boom there we go the anvil can go right there and the rails can go with the mob stuff as well how entertaining is this guys i bet this is fantastic and there you have it there's our storage system or storage room i guess we will expand it once we have more but we don't have more so i'll be honest we only have four days left and i don't really know what to do we've kind of done a lot of stuff and what can i do in four days i guess what i could go do is go down in the mine see if i can get diamonds get an enchantment table because i don't have one of those yet but i don't really have a mine anymore so i really don't know i guess the mine entrance will start right here i guess we'll just start going down it's not gonna look pretty but it's gonna be usable you know the good thing about mining now is that i have such a big area that it's just not riddled with mobs it's granted now it wouldn't be as big of a problem as it used to be but Oh no, not a water cave. I don't like water. Come on, let's just get past the water and we'll be good. And I don't really want to explore in caves. I know that's probably the best way to find diamonds and the best way to find a monster spawner. Okay, interesting. Nuh-uh. I don't think so. Yeah, that's a no-no. What's exactly down there? I mean, obviously I'm not going down there because I can't see if there's any shriekers, but yeah, that's a little much for me. I don't know. I don't know about all that. Let's see if I can actually get down this way. As long as there's no shriekers, then I'm fine, but no promises, I guess. There's one right there. I think we're good. Just a little detour. Perfect right here. Let's dig out our little room and go find some diamonds. And I'm surprised throughout all the caving I did earlier, I didn't find a single one because I was at deep slate and they normally start spawning pretty close to deep slate, so I am just probably wasting my time oh that's crazy world border what i guess we'll start doing this then we'll be testing out the waters of the strip mine the nerf strip mining or something because this is garbage absolutely garbage i used to be drowning in the diamonds back in the day there is literally nothing down here what the heck is going on um did, did they nerf diamonds or something did they nerf ores in general i haven't seen a single thing i'm about to give up but i feel like that meme of the dude it's mining to the diamonds and one's stopping and one keeps going and i'm not gonna be that guy that doesn't get the diamonds <gasps> there's redstone redstone's a thing i'm gonna mine it all it deserves to be mined we found iron we found iron you deserve to be mined i have infinite iron back at the house but we found something besides redstone and deep slate <gasps> they exist never been so happy for diamonds and it's more than one and it's two and that it's it's three i mean i only needed two I never thought i would see them i would never thought i would see them they're here they're here and they're beautiful as i like look at myself with full diamond armor on full tools but we can finally go back up tired of being down here get me out oh no my wrist is very stiff and it kind of hurts and my joints are kind of popping out i think i've been playing too much minecraft and we're up and we're back and we're back all right i think it's time for business now let's go find the obsidian and a book boom all right just one of those and i need to put stuff up because i got so much stuff not enough space all right let's see boom 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 we have the enchantment table on day number 97 almost day number 98 you know it's probably not very necessary but it's still very nice to have now i say we get a full bleh. now i say we get enough emeralds to get a full enchantment table set up going i don't know where i'm gonna put it but i'm gonna get it just because you know all right first order of business we will go get iron and trade it to these guys in here which i still need to sort those guys out maybe that's what i do next maybe that's what i do here in a second because that won't take that long that's exactly what i'm gonna do okay let me figure this out first though here we go talk to him get all those this guy get all of those and then i can do all the crops as well all right just like that we're all good to go we got a stack in 15 so all we we need to do is talk to the guy over here and he should give us what we need did him i did i don't want to be in here how are they sleeping inside of each other you're not the right guy you the right guy you're not the right guy you're the right guy you're not the i think i know who it is it's the guy in the village Ooh, and we're officially on day number 98 is there anybody in my house yes he's here all right Let's get all we can get eight that is not enough that's not even close to being enough everyone's trade should have reset though so we should be all good i'll find a dandy let's just go redo all those what 
Wait, whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Good thing I was paying attention. How did you get in here? What the heck? Where the heck did you come from? He couldn't have came from back here, obviously. He probably spawned down there. That's okay. Well, we're gonna torch that up a little bit just so nothing comes and kills us. And we'll get some trapdoors to make that not happen, even if they do spawn. I mean, that is my fault. I'm just stupid and lame. There we go. They 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 did it. They did they they did they, 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 they reset their trades. Give me your emeralds. Here we go. Seventy three emeralds. Of course. Of course he's just stuck right here. And he's not gonna reset his trades because he's dumb. Oh, okay, there we go. He didn't know how to come out and use a door. That's Minecraft for you. It would be very nice if he went and reset his trades, but I guess he's not going to do that. I guess we can wait. In the meantime, let's dig this out and start to make the villager hall. And I think it's going to be this exact thing right here, but there's going to be a villager on the inside of the walls right here. Think there's enough room right there? Yeah, there should be. Yeah, there's just enough room. So they're just going to be chilling in the wall right here, because, I mean, that's the easiest thing to do. Just some more digging. I love digging and mining cobblestone. It's great. All right. It's looking like a, a room so far. Oh, see, and that's exactly why we put that on there. Because this guy wanted to say hello. All right. Let's go get some wood. I want I want this place to look nice. And boom, 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 boom. And then we have just this right here. Eh, no. That's where the diorite comes in, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right there. Perfect. And then in between here is that... Yes, the slab. Let's do the same thing this way. Here we go. They can't get over there. They can't jump at all. And yeah, this will still be chopped up just like so. And then we hit him with the wood right here all the way through. And I think polished diorite to finish it off. Yeah, that looks fine. And we can go get some lanterns to top that off as well. We'll just kind of put them methodically. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, right here. There we go. Now down here, we'll figure this out too. I think we just continue the pattern of this. And we can go and strip this log all the way through through. I might actually do the same thing on the top. Yeah, let me do this on the outside. Boom, and then all the way through. I actually think that looks a lot better. Here we go. Adds more spice up to this place. Because, I mean, there's already them right there, and then there's pink in the background, so that fits almost perfectly. And then the mine entrance is right here. There's a zombie just there. Why are you- How? What the heck? What? I'm just so- I'm just so lost. I'm so confused. Okay, and then I can put lanterns on these as well. And day 99 has begun. Not to worry. We only have a couple things we want to do. We want to get all the villagers in here with different professions as well. And we would like to build that enchantment table room. I think it's going to go right behind where the villagers are at right now. There's a little room in the back. I can show you really quickly. We go back here. There's a little room back here. So we can kind of dig into here. Have a little room. Something like that. I think that's the best place for it. But now the rough part is getting the villagers to actually get in here. Um, obviously we'll need, we'll need their profession tables. We will need their cooperation. I guess the plan is I'm going to go get boats. All right, let's get all these guys in boats. I'm going to release them. And if I go ahead, I'm just going to craft iron blocks because I'm too lazy to go back over there and get cobblestone. If I do this, I have enough to completely like block off all the sections I don't want them going in. I don't know why I placed all those boats, but I will be breaking all this. Letting them go. Here we go. Y'all are all free now, or as free as you think you are. So get in the boat. Get in the boat. Thank you. And now I will practically force him to actually go into a certain spot. So the right side will be all the toolsmiths. The left side will be everyone else, I guess. All right. Just get trapped inside of there. Thank you. And then boom, you're a good hard worker. And let's pick you up as well, sir. Wait, whoa. what are you doing? I mean, I guess if you want to get in here too, I'll, I'll block you in right there. Okay, that works, I guess. Two birds with one stone. Boom, there's another one. And now we will start taking y'all over there. And two of them followed. There we go. He's ready to work. But you're going in this one right here. Oh, there you go. You're smart. Good job. It is turning nighttime though, and it is day 99. So we might not get to finish this, but we will try. There we go. All right. We've got a new home for you, mate. It's time to get locked in. There you go. Boom. Ooh. All right. Just three more and two more librarians. Villager number four. Boom. Look at him. Such a well-behaved man. Boom, there we go. All right, one last villager, and then we should be good. And it is our toolsmith, so I was pretty smart for not doing that. Okay, 
and he immediately just he just wants to work he's a hard-working man locked all these guys in though i need to get two more lecterns and that fletching table um if they want to work i will let them decide that hopefully they are working men when i get back there we go you have your workstation congratulations mate as we enter day number 100 new day started and the border has expanded how exciting is that but our villager hall is complete i mean we can always expand it whenever we want to that's kind of why i just left that there and then our mine is running underneath it so whenever we need to go mining we got that right there so even though it's day 100 we still have a day this is still day 100 we can still do stuff today so i want to get that enchantment table down before the day ends just to completely finish out my base it's gonna get more emeralds really quick so i can get a bunch of what are they called i don't even know what they're called bookshelves i need more bookshelves it'll be the same thing right here just as it was over there but i think i'm gonna have it curved to the left and the enchantment table's there and the hard part is finding this librarian he's either chilling in my house chilling with the other villagers or he's chilling outside of my house he's right here there we go one two three four five six boom seven i'll go and get 18 and then we should have level 30 in chance now decorating this i don't know how i mean we're gonna figure it out obviously right now but we'll go grab our diorite our wood our cobblestone everything and we'll get it figured out really quickly funny thing too is my heart's actually racing to get this done i'll be honest i might actually go chop some trees down too because i don't have any more wood so i better go do that really quickly right, that should be enough wood 55 let's get going Let's start schmoovin', brother. Go, go, go. All right, so first things first, we gotta do the outline of the entrance. So I don't know exactly how, but I know it's literally over there. So we can kind of copy it. Now I just did the lantern right here. Boom, stripped all of these. So there's not enough room right here, but it'll go over here to this area. So if we do this right here, we're just gonna go ahead and place this one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna dig out one more block this way. So this is all lined up. If we go right, this is the middle block. We go and up enough we need to go two more out that way actually we can do it right here do we want one or two we want one okay right here have this corner dug out and then obviously just one two three 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 and then boom it should be level 30 nice we already got that settled now let's dig out the inside right here what i have planned i don't even have anything planned but i'm gonna do blocks of redstone gold and lapis do all those blocks right there i just do boom 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 Boom, boom. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that looks better. We're running out of time. So let's just dig out all this. The wall's going to start right here. And this block right here will be the roof, as well as we need to dig out one more. Hit him with the right here really quickly. Then we should be good. Boom, there we go. Okay, I'll dig out the wall really quick. We only need to dig up to, I think, right here. There we go. There we go. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm actually really focused. I get this done as quickly as possible. Um, I actually think that we will stop probably like right here. There we go. Now the floor. I'm just trying to dig everything out. ASAPP. All right. All right. So that wall is good right there. We shall continue this little floor pattern that we have and bring this out right here. So round off right there, but we will continue to do this right there. And then we need to build some slabs. There we go. Round that off. Boom. Perfect. Perfect. There we go strip that and then we will hit them with one layer on the outside of diorite and the rest will be cobblestone and then we should be done and then the walls shall be oh what do i do the walls that wall is completely fine I need to do the ceiling first actually the ceiling should just be cobblestone that's kind of so explanatory right that is done and now onto the walls what do we do for the walls we don't have any more wood so we can't do any wood stuff but we can do cobblestone again or we can do something like this do the classic two by two. Oh, that's done okay what's next we need lanterns a lot of them. Uh, let's go ahead and place them in the corners right here. Place one straight above right there and place one. Oh, we need to break these actually. And then place a lantern on a fence post right where, 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 right. Probably uh, uh, indecisiveness. Stop it right there. That works. And then we can do another lantern right there. That Okay, that works. And we're almost done. We need three blocks of iron and then we need to do this. Boom. And we're right here we need four oak logs oh we have time yeah we're good i'm stressing over nothing all right and boom make those two chests and place them right here there we go and that's where that'll go and now our enchantment room is done Woo, that was way too much of a stressor this is done the villager thing is done the whole entire place is done before day 101 and the sun is coming up on day 101 so we got everything done before day 100 and i will say i'm pleasantly surprised about how this place turned out and we will patiently wait as it says a new day started order has expanded on 
day 101. So we are officially done with our 100 days of expanding border Minecraft. If you want me to do another 100 days in this same world, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Because this is actually fun, and there's so much more I can do with this. And if it looked great now, imagine what else I could do. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a blessed day.